Great to have you with us here today for the Pac-10 conference opener between Washington and USC. Trojans looking for an eight straight win in the series. Folk is ready. Advances on the ball. Moves right to left and sends a big boot on the way. This will carry down to McKnight. Two yards deep in the end zone. He will touch a knee <laughs> to the great delight of the faithful here and USC will begin from its 20-yard line. First touchback we've seen on a Husky kickoff this season, Chuck. Yeah, that's not been uh, the strength of uh, Eric Folk so far, but he certainly got it done uh, there and uh, as you as you rightfully pointed out, with a little breeze in his back, he got it done and the crowd was incredibly happy. <laughs> Thank goodness for the little things. Uh, not a sellout here today. We're looking for about 60,000. A fair contingent of USC fans down in the horseshoe and now the Trojans come out with a new quarterback in Aaron Court making his first start. They will begin first down from their 20-yard line. A one-back set. Two tight end lineup, one of them on a wing on the near side right. And here we go. Corp going to throw on first down. Flares it out left side. McKnight at the 15, loses his footing and goes down at the 16-yard line. Give credit to the wet turf. That is a loss of four on USC's first scrimmage play of the day. And it was Von Zell McDowell starting at that cornerback spot, pressuring the pass receiver McKnight. Loss of four. We also talked about a little bit about the Husky injuries defensively too. Bob Darian Jones, Connie Aldrich both banged up a little bit. Uh, Talia Crichton getting the start, the true freshman at that defensive end on the right side. Ball at the far hash, left-hand side, the Trojan 16-yard line. Second down and 14 from there. Power set here. Single setback is McKnight. Corp fakes the handoff, rolling left, throws to the boundary line. This is Pot Williams, the wide receiver, swinging around, pushed out of bounds at the 29-yard line, and a penalty marker thrown late. We might have had a late hit out of bounds on Von Zell McDowell. Well, you love the physicality and the guys trying to make plays, but when Damian Williams turned up that sideline, got bumped out of bounds by Savannah. Anna Monzel McDowell got him on the white paint, not on the That's green the of the play. turf. Personal foul, played it out of bounds on the defense number eight. The 15-yard penalty. First That's 15 uh, yards. That's Nate Williams. Yeah who was called for the late hit. So they got 13 on the gain and 15 more on the penalty. And I think they got the wrong guy on that hit out of bounds. Yeah. It looked like it was Von Zell McDowell. Yeah, when Chuck. Von Zell labeled or uh, took McWilliams into the bench, it was Nate Williams that was right behind standing right there. The, both, both guys disappeared into the Husky pile. And uh, Von Zell McDowell disappears into the bench. He stays there. True Font in at that cornerback. Trojans with a first down at their 44-yard line. Opening possession. Here's a handoff. McKnight cut back lane through the middle across midfield into Husky territory and near a first down at the Washington 46 yard line Foster the linebacker Glenn the safety on the stop but a big crease for the ever quick Joe McKnight the junior out of River Ridge Louisiana right. gain of nine almost ten second and very short coming well again it's this offensive line that is such a strength for this Trojan team they lost some skilled players nine guys back again virtually two deep in the offensive line 101 career starts veteran guys offensive line needs to work together and these guys do second and short at the Washington 47 running play McKnight spinning off a tackle at the middle will have the first down to the 44 yard line before the purple shirts gang tackling back and the Trojans get a fresh set of downs Alameda Ta'amu from the front line Donald Butler from the linebacking core on the stop for the dogs but USC is in Washington territory with a first down and 10 on this opening drive of the ball game Joe McKnight, a junior, did not redshirt, came in as has played as this stable of running backs at USC, something they've done forever, certainly with Pete Carroll, how he keeps all these high school All-American superstar running backs somewhat happy. Uh, is, is a mystery, but he manages to do so. McKnight lighting up as a wide receiver. Habili, the fullback in the backfield on first down of the Husky 45. Give it to Habili with a big crease. Stanley Habili 30, near side 20 at the 15. Run out of bounds. Justin Glenn inside the Washington 10. Put him out at the Husky 7-yard line. Longest gain of the season by a lot for the fullback. Habili 37 yards. His previous long gain was 7. Line up that time at the tailback spot and the Huskies a little confused I think by the alignment. Yeah formationally I think got uh, Washington a little bit more spread out typically the uh, USC fullbacks are blockers and pass receivers that's only the third carry of the year for Havili. Three wide
wide receiver set for the Trojans out to the left on first and goal at the seven yard line from the near hash on the right. McKnight is the tailback, gets the handoff running right to the five and into the end zone. Touchdown USC, just that easy 80 yard drive to make an opening game statement. Yeah, two, uh, two minutes and 32 seconds too, Bob. 12.28 left to go in the first quarter. Just, just that easy. A couple of easy throws early to get Aaron Corp familiar with throwing the football, get him a completion or two, and then it's just uh, big guys beating big guys and running backs with lots of room to run. The new kicker is Jordan Congdon out of uh, San Diego, California. He is on for the point after touchdown. Ball is down, kick is up, and it is good as USC has been really good so far. It didn't take long, and the Trojans... <laughs> Interesting. They, they, on the scoreboard, gave the Huskies the extra point. So if you <laughs> look at the one. scoreboard, it's a 6-1 to one Trojan <laughs> lead. Actually, it is nothing USC. We'll take a break. We're back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Jacob Hartman will kick it off for USC. Jordan Polk, Quentin Richardson deep for Washington down to our right. Here's the boot. Into a bit of a breeze. Richardson will give way to Polk from the three-yard line in the middle. 15-20, cutting back 25 at the 30, taken down right there, but a pretty decent return from young Jordan Polk. And the Huskies will begin first down from their 30-yard line with the Pac-10's leading total offense man at the controls, Jake Locker. Coming out averaging some 321 total yards per game. Huskies have opened both of their two prior games with long scoring drives. And, uh, this is this would be the shortest of the three, are they? If they were able to go only 70, Locker will open shotgun. Curse wide to the far side on the right. Wide receiver to the near side left is Aguilar. Polk in the backfield with Locker. On a rollout, pressured, fumbled the football when he was hit. It's picked up <laughs> by Cody Hobbin, the big guy going back, and he's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. But the Huskies will retain possession at their 28-yard line. A loss of two. Locker coughing it up on the first play from scrimmage today. Big hit from Christian Tupo, the defensive tackle. Up there, Wes Horton is the defensive end on one side. Everson Griffin on the other. Jarrell Casey is the other tackle with Tupo and uh, really good defensive front for USC as Locker and company just found out. Loss of two, second and 12. Jake Reddy under center at the Husky 28-yard line, moving right to left. Hand off Polk with a crease in the middle. Chris Polk out across the 35, still on his feet, near a first down at the 40-yard line. Big run for the one-time USC commit, who decided instead to come to Washington. And that is a gain of a dozen on Polk's first carry of the day for a Husky first down. We'll call it the Washington 41-yard line. Well, the zone blocking up front, and then Chris Polk comes back against the grain, and then that fly action from Jordan Polk coming back uh, the other way keeps some people at home. A great stiff arm. On outside linebacker Malcolm Smith. Here's Locker from the shotgun. Got his fullback Homer way out as a wide receiver on the right. They'll give an inside handoff to Polk. And Tupo meets him at the line of scrimmage and takes him down. Gain of a short one. 7 to nothing USC. The Trojans going 80 yards on the game's opening possession. A seven-yard touchdown run from tailback Joe McKnight. Washington now trying to answer back. And Jury Fogerson, Elise Woodward into the ball game. Well, guys, you'd expect it, but a lot of trash talking going on early in this game down at the field. Uh, a lot of people, obviously, with the coaching staff have ties. Second and nine from the 42-yard line of Washington. Here's Locker under center, a straight drop. Throws to the near boundary, a timing route, and a great grab from James Johnson for a first down at the USC 48-yard line. What a snag in front of the Trojan bench for a 10-yard gain. The freshman continues to impress. Uh, just wide, wide left, ran down and hooked it back up. And the throw from Jake Locker was wide towards the sideline. James Johnson had turned towards the inside, turned his body back towards that sideline. Body going one way, hands stayed the other. Made the catch, got the first. Just inside the Trojan 49, call it the 48 of USC. The Huskies with a first down and 10 in an eye formation here. As Homer and Ferguson are behind Locker. Play fake Jake rolling to his right with some room over there. Now unloads it incomplete. Missing his man Aguilar trying to come back to him near the first down marker at the 38-yard line. 
Kevin, is, Kevin Thomas, the senior in coverage for USC. Yeah, which is too bad because he had uh, Aguilar open, and that's exactly what Jay Clocker can do to a defense. That rollout naked action coming back the other way puts so much pressure on the outside linebacker on that side. He had to come up to, to respect Jake's running ability, leaving Aguilar wide open just to... Too much gas on that throw from Jake. Blair, the tight end, is Vicky now. Way out as a wide receiver on the right on second and 10 at the 48. Here's Locker. Handoff inside the Polk, and he is met by the linebacker, Malcolm Smith, and pushes him for a couple of extra yards down to the 44-yard line of USC. Pickup of almost four for Polk, who's off to a good start so far today. And now the Huskies, <laughs> they're in a comfort zone. you got to think uh. on third down, they have been superb. Second in the country in third down conversions this season 22 of 33 yeah how, uh, how that happened nobody knows <laughs> and many of them in this third and you know five plus type of situation right in their wheelhouse right now nine and a half to go first quarter seven nothing trojans huskies looking for a conversion on third and five spread formation here empty backfield save for the quarterback locker in the gun from the trojan 44 here's jake sprinting out to his right being chased over there loses his footing and falls to the deck inside the husky 45 yard line big big loss on the play and this time third down befuddles the home team that's a loss of a dozen yeah came rolling out uh, had to scramble out the other way and had big everson griffin 6'3 280 pound junior but think He'll get credit for his second quarterback sack of the season. He was right there. Jake tried to reverse field, but Griffin, too quick, could not escape. So Washington will have to punt. Will Mahan, the new punter, standing at his 30-yard line, bobbles the snap a little bit, but gets a nice kick away. It is Damian Williams letting it bounce inside the 15. Penalty marker down as that ball kicks out over the far sideline at the USC 14-yard line. We'll see what the penalty's all about. Marker dropped it to 21. Well, I know that uh, Desmond Trufant got absolutely leveled over there coming down from the gunner, and uh, there may have been a little bit of uh, illegal activity involved in getting him on the ground. During the kick, illegal block in the back. He's looking to settle in on defense here. Trojans will come out in an eye set. Corp under center at his own seven-yard line at the far hash on the left. And the delay handoff, huge hole, McKnight, look out, 20, 25, ankle tackle down by Glenn outside the 30, it's a 32-yard line, 25-yard gain on first down. Uh, here's an example, Bob, Red Ellison, the backup tight end, is kind of lined up on the right-hand side, and he drives Donald Butler 35 yards <laughs> field without letting go. Joe McKnight, great running back, but when he gets a 20-yard run before anybody who's within a couple yards of him, that's not uh, necessarily great running back. That's a great job by the guys up front. Trojans immediately off of their uh, out of out of bad field position. From the 32-yard line of USC, first and 10. Here's Corp. Play fake. Straight drop to pass. A lot of time. Going near side. Nearly intercepted. Pretty play from Donald Butler. One of four Huskies running with Joe McKnight at about midfield in front of the USC bench here on the near sideline. And that's why Aaron Corp won't throw it very much today. They won't have to. Run it on first down, get 25 yards, try to throw it on second down and he throws the ball right to Donald Butler, who unbelievably could not catch it. He was running a, a, the same route that Joe McKnight was, just in better position. The tailback carousel now brings Stefan Johnson into the ball game for SC, second and 10 from their 32-yard line. Here's Corp, three-step drop, throws to the near boundary. Williams with the catch, gets around Darian Jones at the 40, 45, and hit down near midfield. Nice running after the catch from the former Arkansas Razorback, Damian Williams, the Trojans' leading receiver. And the junior has a 17-yard gain to the 49-yard line. Justin Glenn again on the stop, but uh, a lot of guys in the secondary having to make tackles so far for Washington as SC continues to move it. This drive started at the Trojan 7, has gone out to the 49 of USC where it is first down and 10. There's Corp ready to go. 
Takes the snap. Handoff. Right side. Big crease again. Johnson 40. 30 down the near sideline. Trips himself up as he's inside the 25. Touches the knee down at the Washington 24-yard line. The field is making more tackles than the home team. That's 27 yards for Stephon Johnson. And again, that's just the uh, guys up front. Stephon Johnson takes the handoff to the right. Everybody is blocked. Everybody is blocked. And Stephon Johnson doesn't have anybody within two yards of him until he hits face first on the Huskies 24-yard line with Justin Glenn in the neighborhood. Trojans looking for a second score here in the opening quarter. First down at the Washington 24-yard line. Here's Corp ready to go. They'll run the right side again. This time Johnson ankle tackle down. Quentin Richardson the corner pinching down. That's a gain of only one. Help on the play from linebacker Court Dennison. Quentin Richardson, the sophomore. Court Dennison, the sophomore. Richardson, hometown boy from Seattle. Dennison out of Salt Lake City. And now Dennison will go to the Husky bench. C.J. Savannah replaces him in the linebacking core. Finally slowed him up a little bit on a running play. McKnight back in a tailback. Second and nine SC out of the huddle they come at the Washington 23-yard line. And they'll go shotgun this time. Court McKnight in the backfield with him. Three wides to the far side and now four is Knight. McKnight rather motions over to the left. Second and nine from the 23. They're trying to set up a screen. They get the ball to McKnight and he is tackled immediately. Pretty defensive play from E.J. Savannah, the linebacker. This will be a loss back to the Trojan 27, or the Husky 27-yard line. Four-yard USC loss played beautifully by the Washington defense, led by E.J. Savannah, the senior from Bellevue. Uh, nobody really looked like they knew what they were doing on that play. SC looked a little confused lining up. Washington kind of confused matching up defensively, but the good news was E.J. Savannah made an athletic play and force the negative yardage. All right, it is third and 13 SC. Ball at the Husky 27, far hash mark on the left. Kabili in the backfield as Corp goes shotgun again from the far hash. Takes the snap inside handoff. Havili running right in. Daniel Teo Neshon takes him down at the 25-yard line. The Huskies stiffening at last. And SC will put the field goal unit on. A little confidence boost for the Husky defense. Had the chance to get out of that drive early with the dropped potential interception by Donald Butler, but did a good job of creating a third and long and making the play against the run. A 43-yard attempt. Slight angle right from Congdon, who is one of two so far this year, as long as just 21. Ball is down. His kick is away. Has the distance and has the direction. USC, two drives and two scores. This time a field goal. And with 4.36 to go in the first quarter, we will take time. 10-0 Trojans on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Jordan Polk got a decent return on the Trojans' last kickoff out to the Husky 30-yard line. He is back deep again down to our right with Quentin Richardson. Polk on the near side. Richardson out to the far side. Here is Hartman to kick it away. Down the middle he goes with it. It will be Richardson at the 10, 15 to the 20. Trying to angle out behind a Polk block at the 25 and out of the 30. Dragged down from behind at about the 32-yard line. And that ball came loose as he went out of bounds. I think they're going to say he was down by contact before that happened. So the Huskies will start at their own 32 or 3-yard line, depending. They're going to spot it at the 32. How about the block from little Jordan Polk? This yeah. guy weighs about a buck 60. He's got, the, got some G's going with that speed. Created a little bit of momentum. Huskies against him. The tight end is Vicky out to the far side. And got Homer lined up as a wing right. And a first down shotgun formation from the Washington 32-yard line. Locker to pass. Guns it out. Homer right side makes the catch. Breaks the tackle at the 40 and spins out for a first down at the 45-yard line. And we're seeing a bunch of new wrinkles here in Washington's offense. I'm sure mindful of the, uh, you know, the similarities between the two schemes these guys run. Each of them trying to show the other some different looks. Chris Galippo, the middle linebacker, with a stop. But the catch and run from Homer gets the Huskies 13, make that 12 yards in a first down. Well, we talked about uh, Havili, more of a, a 
a pass catcher than a rusher. Uh, pretty much same on the Washington side. Second catch of the year for Paul Homer. From the Husky 44, Farhash on the right. Locker under center on first down. Hand off to Polk, and he is nailed in the backfield by an unblocked tackle. Jarrell Casey drops him back at the 41-yard line. Gotcha. Uh, that was uh, not a whole lot of time to, <laughs> to make anything happen for Chris Polk. He just kind of got that up the middle, and I'm not even sure Jarrell Casey had his head up and knew he was tackling anybody. He had just come through on fire. And he is, uh, that's a big fire, Bob. 6'1", 295. It's a square fire. Yeah, he's a sophomore. Uh, so second and 13 dogs back at their 41-yard line. Moving right to left, trailing 10 to nothing. Locker out of the shotgun. Polk motioning through the formation. to go with the inside handoff. Right side crease a little bit for Polk. And look at Chris Polk. Gary Tackler's out to the 48-yard line for a gain of seven. You think this guy's a little inspired today? Chris Polk, the tailback from Redlands, California, again committed initially to USC and then decided to come to Washington, and he is fired up playing against the Trojans here today. Yeah, he said, you know, everybody talking nice about each other, Coach Sarkeesian, Coach Carroll, and all this. He said, I'm taking this thing a little bit personally. He, he said it loud enough that he was asked not to talk anymore for the rest of the week. He has played like he took it personally. So Third and today. six, Huskies at the 48-yard line of Washington. Ogerson, a wide receiver here on the near side left. Locker throws over the middle. Ball is caught. James Johnson at the near hash at the 40 and carries a tackler down to the 36-yard line. And a Washington conversion on third down. Nice throw and catch for 16 yards. Second reception already for the freshman, James Johnson. Pretty play there. Yeah, and both catches for first down, too, Bob. Great read by both James Johnson and Jake Locker. The corner crash came from USC. Johnson took advantage of it, kind of found the zone uh, in between the retreating linebacker and safety, and a very good throw again from Jake Locker. He's looking to eat into a 10-0 deficit. First down at the SC 36-yard line. Locker in the shotgun. Hand off to Polk, and this play is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Josh Pinkard, the cornerback, forcing down. He's a good one. Been around there for a while. A senior out of Oxnard, California. Missed most of the 2006 and 7 seasons with knee injuries. Josh Pinkard, about 43 years old now, but uh, <laughs> playing like a veteran indeed. Nice play there from the SC cornerback. He's hoping to play with his son someday, Bob, for uh, USC. Husky's showing a lot of that option action inside. Jake has yet to keep the football, but he has given it to Chris Polk in that inside and in that option action three or four times so far today. You got Polk and Fogerson with him out of this shotgun set now on second and ten at the SC 36 near hash on the left. Here's Jake to pass. Four-man rush. Throws over the middle. Wide open. Aguilar 25. Devin Aguilar with a first down taken down at the USC 23-yard line. Kind of let the zones clear out. Aguilar was alone in space. Locker finds him for 13. Yeah, credit to the guys up front too. Had time to wait for guys to clear because the big boys gave protection to Jake Locker. Jake wasn't used to it. His feet were getting a little anxious in there, but he hung in there and delivered the ball. Aguilar caught it, turned up field, got his head down and got enough. Good looking drive here by the Washington Huskies. Down 10 to nothing with a minute to play in the opening quarter, but a first down for the Dogs at the USC 22-yard line. Polk and Johnson go wide to the far side, the wide side right. Here's Locker at the near hash under center at the SC 22 on first down. Play fake. Jake the pass. Throwing down the seam. Ball is caught at the 10-yard line. And inside the five goes Jury Fogerson putting down near the Trojan three-yard line. Huskies getting some guys open here. First and goal coming for the dogs. Locker five for six on the afternoon. Doing a great job of finding the open guy and good creativity offensively. Both Chris Polk and Jory Fogerson in the backfield. Fogerson has racked up some serious receiving yards this season doing a great job getting him the ball in space. Huskies in business. 24 seconds to go in the opening quarter. First and goal dogs. Line of scrimmage, the SC4. Locker under center. Polk behind him, and this play is blown dead at the line of scrimmage with a Washington timeout called with 16 seconds to play in the period. Dog fans, take a safety course and get your voter education card. As Washington state law now requires for safety courses and card application, you can visit VoterEd.org. That's VoterEd.org. Get the card that's good for a lifetime, your lifetime, the Washington state voter education card. 
sometimes formationally you line up in something on offense and you see that the defense is doing something and you really you have no check there's no uh, no way for the quarterback to get out of a certain play and get into a play that might work and this is obviously a critical series for Washington to try to get seven points on the board go start season not taking any chances Seven plays, 64 yards on the drive so far. And Locker, four of four passing in the drive for 60 of those 64. 10 to nothing SC. The Huskies trying to get their first score of the ball game. 16 seconds to go in the quarter. Washington out of the timeout, out of the huddle, ready to go. They'll go with a spread formation. Five wide receiver look. Locker alone in the backfield from the SC four-yard line. Ryan Toller ready to snap it back to his quarterback. Here's the snap. Quarterback draw. Jake through the middle and in to the end zone. Washington is on the board with 11 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Always a threat. The quarterback draw from Jake Locker for a four-yard score. Just to have a guy at a like Jake Locker and a play like that in your back pocket that you can basically pull out whenever you need four yards is just such a luxury for an offensive staff. There is Holt for the point after touchdown. He has been perfect all season and keeps it that way. The point after is good. 10-7 USC with the lead and we need to pause right here for station identification. You're listening to the Washington ISP Sports Network. From Eric Polk, his right one carried into the end zone. This one takes McKnight to the goal line. Out to the 10, center of the field, 15. Cutting out to the far side at the 20. Almost popped through. He's down at the 26-yard line. Donald Butler, the linebacker in special team coverage for the Dogs with five seconds left in this opening quarter. USC will have one more play in the period. The drive will begin at the Trojan 26-yard line. And this is their best drive start position so far. They got touchdowns on the last two. Started at the 20, started at the 7. Excuse me, touchdown and a field goal starting now at the 26. That's easy to to get better early Bob USC on first down averaging almost 12 yards per play three plays of over 20 yards on first down the tailback is Alan Bradford for the first time from the USC 26 first and 10 Trojans backs off set behind Thorpe and a play fake standing in throwing to the far boundary this ball is caught Williams knocked out of bounds by Trufant near a first down at the 36 yard line and that'll be the final play of the opening quarter they're going to spot him right at the marker so presumably a USC first down as Corp comes out throwing a good delivery there to their leading receiver Damian Williams and indeed a first down and 10 that's it for the opening quarter an eventful one indeed 10-7 USC with the lead after one here on the Washington ISP Sports Network gathered first and 10 SC ready from its own 36 here's Bradford straight ahead carry pops through at the 40 and dragged down by Donald Butler make that Nate Williams at the 44-yard line, a quick eight-yard gain. Alan Bradford, the junior from San Bernardino, California, 5'11", 235-pounder. He's the biggest of their tailbacks. Hey, remember how uh, the difficulties the Huskies had with Andre Woolridge of Idaho a, a week ago. This is similar size with, with better speed and ability. That one almost popped for the distance. Huskies have young Everett Thompson playing defensive tackle in place of Ta'amu. Here's Bradford again. Big hole right side. Taken down by Glenn as he crosses the Washington 45. They'll put him down at the Husky 44-yard line. Justin Glenn having to make another tackle here today in the Husky secondary. Down to Elise. Well, guys, it hasn't mattered what tailback has been behind that offensive line. They are opening up gigantic holes right now for whoever is back there carrying the football. Not a single one of them over 300 pounds either. We've seen some big lines. They're just strong, fast, and athletic. Other than that, nothing special. First down and 10. Trojans leading 10-7, working at the Washington 44-yard line. Here's Corp under center. Running left, and this play is scuffed up as Bradford is knocked out of bounds for a loss back at about the 48 or 9-yard line of USC. The freshman defensive end to Leah Crichton getting upfield. Yeah, that was a nice job that time. Just penetration against the running game so effectively until I, Talia Crichton, right at the point of attack, got the first shot 
on the Trojan tailback, knocked him sideways and gave time for his helpers. They will give him uh, progress, if you will, in a lost situation to the Husky 49-yard line. Loss of five, second and 15 SC from there. Corp has him up under center. Near hash on the left. Motion from Williams out to the right. Toss sweep going that way. Here's Bradford on the sweep. Turned in and nailed at the 46-yard line. Got about three on the play. Nicely played by Daniel Teonesheim to turn it in to the on-rushing defenders. In this case, Thompson and Elisara, two of the front four with the stop. And now third and long for USC. Third and a dozen Trojans. Line of scrimmage, the Washington 46-yard line. Yeah, only the second third down USC has had in the football game. Game, did not complete or convert on the first one. David Osbury along with Williams will be the wide receivers and Washington is going to take a timeout. <laughs> we will do likewise. 12.56 to go here in the second quarter. 10-7 to 7 Trojans. I'll have third and long when we come back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Oh, Husky's got the stop on the third and 13 in the last drive. Forcing the field goal attempt. We've got a third and double digits here now. Ball at the far hash mark from our vantage point. The right-hand side as the Trojans go right to left. Shotgun set. Three wides. Two of them here to the wide side on the left. You also got to watch out for the fullback, Habili. They love to go to him in long down and distance. Here's Corp to pass. Standing in. Thrown to the near side. This ball is caught. Inside the 40 goes... Bryce Butler near a first down at the Husky 35. Think he's going to be about a yard short. Butler's first reception. The third wide receiver, freshman from Norcross, Georgia, Nate Williams and Quentin Richardson with the stop at the 35. And Pete Carroll is never shy about going on fourth down, and they will do so here on fourth and one at the Husky 35-yard line. Yeah, already gone for it five times this year. This is classic go for it. So the Huskies had a chance there to create the fourth and five or six, but missed tackles. Got Williams around or Bryce Butler close enough to make Pete Carroll have to choose. All right, here you go. Fourth and one. Trojans eye backs behind Corp at the Husky 35-yard line. The tailback is Johnson gets the handoff and gets the first down and then some inside the 30. Might have fumbled the football when he hit the deck. It came loose. And Washington, the recovery. Safety, Justin Glenn picking up the Johnson fumble. Bad news, good news, and good news a lot better than the bad news. Did not get the play made on the fourth down stop, but a good strip of the football downfield. You see Mason Foster come in with a big hit on the ball side. Football definitely out on contact. Good scramble from the Husky safety, Justin Glenn. And the Huskies create the first turnover of the ball game. And our first review play as the officials will take a look to make sure that ball came out before Stephon Johnson touched the knee down. Washington, Elise. If the uh, ruling is favorable, we'll have it at the Husky 26-yard line. Well, and guys, that's one thing that defensive coordinator Nick Holt has preached this whole preseason and through the first two games. We have got to create more turnovers. Mason Foster with a big interception last week to start the second half against Idaho and maybe potentially a forced fumble here uh, pending the replay, but it's something that he preached all week to his defense that they've actually been preaching it for quite some time to create more turnovers. USC was 4 of 5 converting on fourth down through their first two games had uh, some huge fourth down conversions last week in the win over Ohio State. And the official has made the announcement that ball did indeed come free before Johnson was touched down. Washington, the fumble recovery. Huge turnover for the Dogs. And they will get it back. Their 26-yard line trailing 10-7 in the day looks a little brighter. The skies are brightening. Huskies, remember, on their last possession offensively, went 68 yards for the touchdown and, frankly, made it look pretty easy. Here's Locker under center at the Washington 26, going left to right. Polk, the tailback behind him. Jake takes the snap, hands it off to Polk. And carries out across the 30, turning the legs out to the 35-yard line. Again, uh, an inspired...
Husky jailback is Chris Polk here today. Nearly nine yards on the game. Middle linebacker Chris Gallipo, the tackle for USC. Well, that's a good push up front. First three, four, five yards with good blocking and a good acceleration into the hole. And then the last three, four yards, just Chris Polk starting to push that pile. And then the big guys get downfield and help out. 31 yards on seven carries for the Husky tailback. Steve Sarkeesian told me yesterday Chris Polk has to have a huge day. And so far, doing very nicely. Second and one dogs at the Husky 34-yard line. I'll give it to Polk again, trying for the first down. It should have that, but not a lot more before the white-shirted Trojans throw him back. But he'll have progress near the 37. That will be sufficient to move the chain. Well, and against a good defense, too, Bob, that's what you do. You've got a second and one. Maybe it's a situation to take a shot, because even if you miss, you've got a third and one that you're likely to convert. But why take the chance? Let's get a first down, keep the offense on the field, get a fresh set of downs and see what can happen from there. Just under 11 minutes to go in the second quarter. 10-7 Trojans. Huskies with the football. Shotgun set at the Washington 37-yard line here on the near hash on the right. Slot receivers out to the far side left. Locker calls for the ball. Goes with the inside handoff to Polk and he is nailed by the linebacker Morgan in the backfield. Loss of two back to the 35-yard line. Big penetration from the junior, number 17, Michael Morgan with the tackle. Well, again, they keep running that option action, and Jake has yet to keep it. And the last two or three times they've tried it inside, it has uh, had a lot of company wearing white shirts, so would not be surprised to see they keep the football on one of this same looks. I know Steve Sarkeesian is a big fan of what the option can do to a defense. Forces those athletes to stay home. In theory, it keeps the field spread out a little bit. Fourth tackle for loss for USC. Second and a dozen. Washington from the Husky 35. Center of the field. And play blown dead at the line of scrimmage. Contact there and a, a bad snap as it was from Tolar. Kind of bouncing back to Locker. Let's see. The infraction according to the body language of the visitors will go against Washington. Number 79, the offense. That is Ben Osai, the Huskies' left tackle. So after the nice first down yardage, the Huskies uh, move in the wrong direction right now. Lost yardage on first down and the penalty as well. Going to be second down and 17 dogs back at their 30-yard line. Well, they created some second down and long situations too, Bob. We talked about the tackles for loss from USC. Five of them on the afternoon. They have all come on first down play. So the Huskies have created a lot of second and long situations. Dogs break the huddle. Second and 17. Ball center of the field and Locker wants timeout. That's it. And that is the third time used by the home team. They have no more and still 9.33 to go in this opening half as we take a break. 10-7 USC here in the second quarter. We're back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. As good as the Huskies have been on third down all season long, that's uh, not a lot of them have been third and 17. Now we'll see what they draw up here from their own 30-yard line trailing by three. Locker in the shotgun. Polk and Fogerson in the backfield with him on his own 30. And the Huskies are going to pull out early here. Cody Hobbin unaware of the proper snap count. Here's another Sorry. penalty coming Number against the dogs. The penalty. Wow. Third down. Remember, once upon a time, they were clear out at the 37-yard line. Yeah, I got a nice, got a nice first down. Uh, first down run. Second down, got the first. Looks like... But, uh, Looks like the continuation of the prior drive. A couple penalties and a negative yardage plays. As successful as Washington was, they're four for four throwing the football in the scoring drive. They've yet to put it up in this drive. Third penalty of the game, as Chuck mentioned. Two of them coming on this series. Now the dogs are backed up at their own 25. Third down at 22. Locker ready to go out of the shotgun. Going to option it left. Pitch back Polk trying to get the corner. Didn't get the block he needed. He's thrown out of bounds by the linebacker Michael Morgan. Ben Osai, the tackle, trying to pull out and get to Morgan. Too slow. SC throws him out. Short gain on the play. Washington's going to have to punch football. Yeah, couldn't get a whole lot done. That was not a good not a good drive. Uh, a lot of backwards, a lot of inattention, the detail on the two motion penalties and poor execution. Used up a timeout. Cost themselves some field position as well as yeah. Damian Williams goes back. Will Mahan's second punt will come from about the Husky 15-yard line, standing near the 10. There's the snap back to him. 
steps into the boot. Spiraling kick and a beauty here. Williams drifting to the far side on the right. Makes the catch at the 23-yard line. Trying to get upfield. Penalty markers all over the place as he is taken down. Again, a skid mark on this uh, field turf surface. Donald Butler to pin him down. And let's check the penalty as well. That's a 51-yard punt, equaling Mahan's longest of the season. This guy continues to excel. He is the Mahan, Chuck Nelson. <laughs> that he is. He's getting the ball in the air, getting it down the field, get it on the boundary, at least. Big crowd over on that Husky sideline. Well, not only that, that punt into the wind. That is one tough punt up high and pinning During the, the return, the back, on the back on the return team, number 46. Ten-yard penalty, first down. And we will get a timeout with that. The Trojans squandering a field position opportunity there. First the good punt by Mahan, and then yardage on top of it with the penalty. We'll take a break. 7.57 remaining in the second quarter here in Seattle. Cloudy day. Dogs trail the Trojans 10-7 on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Second down and 10 SC. 17-yard line. Backs off set. Two of them behind Corp. Motion from the tight end. Reardon and watch for him, or rather uh, McCoy watch for him. They throw to the far sideline, incomplete, looking for Williams again, going high. Mason Foster reaching up with the left hand to knock that ball away. So now third and long coming for USC. Let's take a look at our ground stats here in the second quarter. And since allowing 111 yards in the opening quarter, the Huskies have just given up 27 on the ground to the Trojans. Still USC with 138 rushing yards, 22 for the Dogs. Ground stats brought to you by Les Schwab Tire Centers. And Les Schwab, only professionally trained technicians using factory quality parts. Les Schwab Tires. And USC will go shotgun here, looking to be a little confused with their formation, and they will have to take a timeout. The play clock down to three. <laughs> we had guys changing sides and uh, doing it again, and the Trojans have to take time. Elise Woodward with 7.46 to play here in the opening half. Well, and Bob, you can see the confusion among the USC offense, and the wide receivers out wide could not hear the play they were supposed to be in. They were running back, and that's why they were forced to call the timeout. Give the crowd a little bit of credit there. USC was confused but they couldn't get things straightened out because of that noise. Trojans on their drives today uh, scored easily on the first going 80 yards, settled for a field goal on their second, looked to be uh, ready to go on their third, but fumbled the ball in Husky territory. And so they lead it 10 to 7. The Huskies with a nice scoring drive of their own late in that opening quarter. The Huskies a good job there. First down, second down. They've done that a couple times today. USC 0 for 2 on third down. This is their third third down opportunity. All three attempts have been over 10 yards. 13-12 and now third and 10. Fans getting loud. Third and 10. Trojans from their 17-yard line. Corp out of the shotgun. Dropping to pass. Protection excellent. Up the field. Incomplete. Threw it behind the intended receiver. Bryce Butler trying to reach back and make that grab. Could not. I don't think he'd have a first down anyway, but USC going to have to punt it away and get a, a, a sea change in field position here, Chuck, on these last two drives. Well, a net 53 yards on that last punt. Remember, the Huskies punted from their own 25-yard line. SC started at the 17 after the exchange of punts. He's had the chance to pick up some pretty good yardage. Billy O'Malley is the punter on for the first time today. Standing inside the Trojan 5. Takes a waist-high snap. Kick is away. Didn't hit it real well. Fogerson signaling for a fair catch and makes a diving grab at the Washington 46-yard line. Good thing he caught it. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty crowded there. 37-yard punt, no return. And the Huskies have terrific field position here to begin the drive. They'll start at their 46-yard line. After an exchange of punts, Bob, the Huskies <laughs> will take over on their own 46-yard line. That's a gain of 21 yards on the exchange of punts. Husky defense, at least, a great job causing the three and out and then uh, get USC's weakness on the field, Billy O'Malley. Well, that's no question. The three and out, huge for the defense's confidence. First and ten dogs trailing by three, working from their own 46 locker out of the shotgun. Face the inside handoff, pump fake, dropping back, chase, lets it go. Incomplete, nearly a one-hand grab by Fogerson at the 45-yard line. Dangerous throw there. Yeah. Uh, the Trojans getting some pressure, and uh, Fogerson fairly well covered, and we've got a Husky laying face down on the deck. And I think that is... 
I think it's Christine, uh, Bob. Greg Christine, who's been battling a sore ankle. The, that's a great story. The former walk-on and uh, now on scholarship. And it is Christine down and getting help to his feet. <laughs> a little unsteadily so. This looks like a, a ringing bell right here. Whatever, I think whatever hurt him a lot isn't hurting quite so much anymore, but it hurt a lot at the time. So that will necessitate a change. <laughs> McKenna Ikahara. The redshirt freshman from Hawaii will come in to replace Greg Christine at that uh, right guard spot, or left guard, I should say, for Washington. So the Huskies with the incompletion on first down. Well, that's the first time they've tried to throw it this quarter. I think I think he was throwing that way, and I think it. Uh, I think it's a good thing after six consecutive rushes he threw it away. I think it's a good thing Fogerson knocked it down. He wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna get back to the line of scrimmage. From the 46, locker under center, guns to the near side. Fogerson hit, and that ball came free. And Jerry Fogerson gonna stay down for a minute and ponder what just happened. Off comes the helmet, big stick right there in front of the USC bench. Yeah. Fogerson still down. Yeah, he took a shot right in the right in the ribs, Bob. That football was well thrown, but just great close. He just took a shot right in the Kevin Elise. Thomas, the yeah. cornerback, first to reach him. Ouch. Let's go down to Elise. Well, and Bob, last week, Jory Fogerson leaving the field with that sprained shoulder. Uh, took some time off in the first half. Uh, they checked it out. He came back in the second half and scored that touchdown. So we've seen how tough that Jory Fogerson can be already in this early season. Uh, this, though, is an absolute shot to his ribs. Talking with the training staff, laying down and uh, obviously in some pain as uh, things halt here with 7.21 to go in the opening half and a 10 to 7 USC lead. And uh, well, it's, it, it's interesting, Bob. It's not it's not a shoulder because they helped him up with both hands and pulled, <laughs> pulled him up by his arms. I think it's... that's either losing your wind or, yeah. again, just uh, having to shake off the pain of a pretty big yeah. hit. Uh, the Trojans are, are nothing if not physical. Yeah. The secondary, very experienced jock, even in the absence of Taylor Mays. Yeah, that looks like a wind knockout because he's jogging off uh, jogging off okay there. Yeah, you've got Josh Pinker to corner, fifth-year senior. Kevin Compass did that hit. is a fifth-year senior. Will Harris, the starting free safety, or excuse me, starting strong safety, is a fifth-year senior. Drew McAllister, who filled in, is a sophomore. Okay, third down and ten. Huskies at their 46 yard line trailing by three locker from the shotgun bunch receivers to his left and he's looking that way chased out of the pocket Jake with some room to run but now takes the pass that ball came loose penalty marker as locker is hit out of bounds Everson Griffin the defensive end hitting him late and locker Letting that ball go free at the last instant. I'm not sure he wasn't out of bounds by the time he tried to throw that football. Uh, yeah, and I think he was trying to. He tried to come back late across the middle, which is kind of rule number one on the don't do this list. And then he pulled it back, and it looks like he almost was trying to throw it away. Ended up kind of shot putting it back into the field, maybe because Griffin was riding him out of bounds and maintained contact well past the sideline stripe. Referee Jack Fullyard and his umpire Dennis Angel having a conversation along with the linesman here on the near side. They may have picked this flag up. Let's see. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 93 on the defense. 15-yard penalty, first down. That's on third down and 10. Huh. Happened right in front of the Trojan bench. Well, it's interesting, too, because I'd like to see a replay, because almost, he almost made contact while Jake still had the football. So I'm a little curious. I guess Jake, Jake was out of bounds when the hit came, but he was almost kind of trying to, he pulled it back, tried to pull it back, shot, put it back in the field. Regardless, this stadium is pretty happy that the Huskies got the penalty and got the first down. Yeah, take it down to the USC 39-yard line where it's first down and 10. 7-11 to go, second quarter, 10-7 Trojans. Huskies in enemy territory out of an eye formation. Homer and Polk are on the setbacks. Here's Locker. Handed off to Polk, left side, and not a lot there. He was met by Malcolm Smith, the linebacker, along with the charging safety, Will Harris, and a gain of a couple for Chris Polk. And we see that uh, Gregory Christine has come back into the ball game at that left guard spot after a couple of play absence. That counts as a big gain on first down here, uh, <laughs> the way the second quarter action has gone. A short two, second down, a long eight for the Dogs. Down by three midway through the second quarter. From the Trojan 37, Locker under center and ready. 
Dropping to pass. Pump fake. Rolling right. Chase hit and dropped back at the 45-yard line. And that is defensive end Nick Perry, a redshirt freshman from Detroit, fighting off his block and getting Locker for a loss of eight yards on the play. And that's it. Anytime you've got a, a defensive end that wears a number like eight, you know he's an athlete because he was probably a running back in high school. He wants, doesn't want to wear a 90-something or a 60-something. Nick Perry, 6'3", 250, redshirt freshman. Just beat Cavario Middleton down inside. He's chasing Jake down before Jake could even get uh, get his wheels turned at full the, speed. Uh, third Trojan sack today. Again, the Huskies had had only two in their first two full games. Third and 16, Washington at the SC 45. Locker from the shotgun. Thrown long down the near side for Kirst. Going up, got it! Out of bounds, he goes near the 15-yard line. Some teams will practice the purposeful underthrow because the offensive player typically turns around first before the defensive player does and can adjust more quickly. Whether that was on purpose or not, it was perfectly executed. And uh, the Huskies are in business. The 30-yard gain, only this first completion of, of the quarter for Jake Locker, who now got 100 yards through the air. First down, dogs ready at the Trojan 15-yard line, down by three. Near hash on the right, locker under center, dropping to pass. Has some room to run if he wants to. Instead, throws to the far corner of the end zone, nearly intercepted and goes incomplete. Double oh. coverage on Izbicki, also had James Johnson over there, and Locker could have perhaps run oh. for a touchdown on that play. Well, and all the play action was left, and Jake rolled out to the right, and everybody went left. Jake on the right-hand side, and there is nobody around. And at least he just tried to force this football to the back corner. Well, and guys, the whole crowd yelling, go, Jake. <laughs> it was all wide open on that right uh, side of the field. He could have gone on that one for big yards. His Vicky goes wide out to the left. Johnson to the near side, right on second and ten. Locker will go shotgun at the Trojan 15-yard line. Fakes the inside handoff, keeping at the 15. Spun down on a tough hit inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Gain of about six for Locker. Took some punishment going down. Cornerback Kevin Thomas, linebacker Shane Horton on the stop for USC. And yeah, there's that option action you knew was coming. He uh, faked it to Chris Boak inside and then attacked the offensive right side. Got to get a little help from the wide receiver on that side to keep Thomas wide a little bit longer. James Johnson got to give Jake a little bit more room. It's five on it as it as it was. That one hurt. Rain coming down now. Third and four dogs at the Trojan nine-yard line. Locker from the shotgun near hash on the right. Takes the snap. Looking right. Holding it. Running now. Dumps it off underneath. Ball is caught. Penalty marker down. And the receiver out of bounds, Middleton, at about the two-yard line. Did he go out and yeah. come back in? Could yeah. be an interesting call here. Yeah, that's, it had to be. It's one of two things, either out, back in, making him an ineligible receiver. If you go out of bounds of your own volition, not by contact from the defender, you cannot come back in and, and be an eligible receiver. It was either that or head-to-head -head contact. And based on, based on SC's reaction, I think it's on Washington. kicking field goals so far. All of them in the LSU game did not get an attempt last week. This will be about a 28-yarder angle right. Fouts will hold for him, looking for the tie. Ball is down. Folks kick is away, and that is pure as it could be. We are tied at 10 each. And that will give us a timeout. 4.09 remaining. A nearly three-touchdown underdog Husky team has rallied back from 10-0 down to tie the ball game at 10. We're back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Well, the Huskies have responded so well, settled down on both sides of the ball. The defense done a good job in giving up 10 points. First two drives, last two drives have caused a fumble and then a three and out. And now 
Eric Bolt, who has kicked it off nicely with the wind, will have to kick it into it. And uh, Stefan Johnson, Joe McKnight, both of them can really run. They're back deep for USC. There's Bolt with the run up left to right. Sends it on the way from the 30-yard line. A high kick. There will be a return here. Johnson from his own nine. Far side on the right to the 15. After the 20, Pace to the far boundary line as the penalty marker is thrown again. And out of bounds, he goes near the 25. And we've got some uh, conversation going as he goes into the Washington bench. And you got to think that uh, SC has yet another block in the back on a kick return. Yeah, this will be their third special teams major penalty. Return holding a number 14 of the return team. Fourth overall penalty, but uh, again, field position tilting definitely to the uh, in the Huskies Huskies' favor. So the Trojans yeah. will start deep in their own end. Last two drives at the 17 with the three and out, getting that short field for the Huskies to get the field goal. Now starting at the 15. And again, young Everett Thompson getting his first action of the season. They've moved him from defensive end to tackle now. He's out there with Ellis Sara, Theo Nessheim, and the freshman Creighton on the front four. Trojans first down from their own 15-yard line. Here is Corp handing off McKnight, looking for room in the middle and finding none. Might have gained one as they storm him down. Daniel Teo Nesheim, the three-year Letterman senior from Hawaii, leading the Husky charge. Gain of only one, second and nine coming for USC. Yeah, really well played. You know, Jay really blocked up the point of attack and did not give any sort of cutback lanes. Basically a defensive front seven pocket. Trojans at their own 16-yard line as the uh, rain continues off and on. 10-10 tie. And Port will go under center, a single setback behind him. They go to a handoff to that setback, and that is Stanley Havili, the fullback, lining up as the tailback in this formation, and he's got about three yards to the 19. Cameron Elisara, strong man, defensive tackle for the Dogs, hit from Ferris High in Spokane with the stop. His daddy, an ex-Washington State Cougar. I remember last time they lined up Havili as a, as a tailback and gave him the football. Went a long way, didn't he? went 37 it? yards, I think. All right, big play here. Third down and six. SC will go shotgun from its own 19-yard line. Near hash on the left as they go right to left. Corp takes the snap. Standing in. Now throws. Ball is incomplete. Mason Foster all over the intended receiver, Damian Williams, that time. And he, too, would have been short of a first down. The Trojans go three and out. They will punt with two and a half yet to play in the second quarter in a tie ball game. Yeah, the second consecutive three and out. And great job on first down once again. Remember that? first quarter we gave the stat that the USC averaging 12 yards on their first five or six first down plays averaging about three yards on first down here in the second quarter you make Aaron Corp throw the football he's 0 for 4 this quarter O'Malley standing at the Trojan five yard line takes the snap kick is away end over end down the near side Fogerson lets it bounce and it's going to take a huge Trojan bounce inside the Husky 40 35, 30, and down to the Washington 28-yard line. 53-yard punt, most of it on the bounce. Fogerson deciding he wasn't going to be able to catch it and kind of got himself out of the way of the bouncing ball and uh, turned out nicely for USC. Yeah, and uh, I'm usually pretty critical of the punt returner in that situation, but that was a good decision by Jory Fogerson. He had a gunner right in his face, and that football was so poorly kicked, so low, coming in as a line drive, that would have been a huge risk to try to play that ball in the air. Yeah, that's Spiral stuff is overrated. Right? Uh, well, it's <laughs> when you got a cover guy coming at you, it's just a little bit rough. All right, the Huskies have scored 10 unanswered points to tie this ball game at 10 apiece. This drive will start at the Washington 28-yard line. 2.23 to go in the first half. Here's Locker under center, handing off Holt. Tries to spin off a tackle and not much there. Down at the 30 for a pickup of two. And Will Harris, the strong safety, just crashing down right off that tackle. Chris Polk, though, a good job of attacking the shoulder of the tackler. At least got a couple out of it. Falling forward. Pretty short couple as it is. That football just a, a length outside the 29-yard line. So second and a long eight coming here for Washington. Remember, the Huskies have no timeouts left. Block is running, 152 to go in the opening half. DeAndre Goodwin, who caught three balls for 83 yards last week. Wide 
Polk to the far side on the left as Locker hands off inside to Polk and there's Galippo the linebacker nothing doing yard loss back to the 28 yard line yeah I'm sure he's just coming hard and the yeah. Trojans going to take a timeout here with a buck 35 to go yeah USC as you were counting out the uh, Huskies lack of timeouts USC with two now one remaining and uh, Huskies lack of success on first and second down SC feeling good they're going to be able to get the stop on third and ten get the football back want to save some time Husky fans want to invite you to come check out the zone, the new tailgate destination for all of you fans between Husky Stadium and the shores of Lake Washington. Uh, the zone opens up at 9 in the morning for a 12.30 game. It'll be open following all home games as well. You can visit GoHuskies.com for more information. Well, SC playing the field position game now with uh, trying to get a little bit back. That 53-yard punt. Tilted the field a little bit. The great defensive plays on first and second down, even more so. Huskies third down, obviously, all season long have been successful. Two for four here today. A little, little help on the one, well, the one by penalty in that last drive. Huskies 123 total yards so far against an SC defense that threw two games. Chuck has been giving up only 193, only nine points a game. Opened with a lopsided win over San Jose State and then that tough win at the Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio last week. All right, dogs out of the timeout. Third down and 10. Line of scrimmage is the Husky 28-yard line. There's Locker out of the shotgun. Slot receivers to the near side. Throw to the underneath man. Aguilar has to scramble just to make the catch and goes down at the 32-yard line. And the Trojans will take another timeout. Their final one of the half. That play only took only six seconds. And SC is going to get the ball back. And yeah, kind of a curious play right there. He yeah. has Locker thinking that he had single coverage on Aguilar, but he, in right. fact, was well covered. Trojans must have been disguising things a little bit. And uh, the dogs did well just to get a, a, a completion check, albeit a short one out of the play. Well, you get a wide receiver like Aguilar lined up with a strong safety. And the strong safety, Will Harris, was lined up well off the line of scrimmage, but walked up just before the snap. And Jake, I think he might be have some space out there, but just a uh, short throw with... Uh, uh, with a closing safety, not likely to get you 10. And there is so interesting a chess game going here between Pete Carroll and Steve Sarkeesian calling the plays uh, for their respective teams along with their staffs and uh, what are you going to do if and that time uh, SC winning the battle so Washington after sending the Trojans three and out itself goes three and out here fourth down and six at the 32 yard line and the new punter Will Mahan is on takes a snap not a very good kick here Damian Williams will make a fair catch at the Trojan 30 yard line with 122 to go in the half 38-yard punt, no return. You, you like the idea of the 38-yard net, but uh, frankly, we're getting a little spoiled and uh, hoping for more out of uh, Will Mahan. Will Mahan averaging almost 45 yards a punt through his first two games. Had a 51-yarder earlier today, and now out to the defense again to try to at least preserve a tie at 10-10. The Trojans have 122 to go in the half. They're out of timeouts. They will start from their own 30-yard line. Shotgun set, moving right to left. Here's Cork to pass on first down. Rolling to his right. Now will run with it and slides across the 35. They'll put him down right there. Steve Sarkeesian says Aaron Corp can really run. That's the first time we've really seen him get out and exercise the wheels. He's not quite Jake Locker fast, but he's plenty quick. That five on the scramble there second and five from the 35 with 58 seconds to go here's Corp thrown over the middle man wide open juggling and Havili with the catch rumbles inside the Washington 40 down to the Husky 38 yard line the dogs blow a coverage there 27 yard gain well, that's that zone blitz situation we saw last week with Kalani Aldrich the defensive end trading off in coverage having a hard time that time Darian Jones bad knee and all trying to chase Stevan Stanley Havili down from the 38 yard line draw play and it is Havili again with the carry this time and down near a first down inside the Husky 30 put him at the Washington 29 a gain of 9 33 seconds to go in this first half, the Trojans looking to break out of the 10-10 tie. 
Navili stays in as the setback. Corp out of the shotgun. Passing to the near side. Ball is incomplete. Osbury trying to make the grab at the sideline. Under pressure from the defender, Quentin Richardson couldn't hold on. Well, in this hurry-up offense, not allowing the Huskies to substitute defensively. That time, Darian Jones was going to be in coverage and basically lined up as a linebacker, usually a defensive end, a 256-pound linebacker. Drop, did not even get a three-point stance. Just took his own drop from that on that defensive right side. Third down and one at the Washington 29 with 18 seconds to go in the half. Corp is under center, handing off and hit in the backfield. Avili taken down by Donald Butler. Back at the 31-yard line, lost two with 10 seconds to go. The Trojans are out of timeouts. And they won't be able to get the field goal off if the Huskies slow down, lining up. One, zero, done! Did not get it away in time. Huge stop. You know SC was going to convert the third and one, spike the ball, and try to get the play off. So the Dogs at least giving up some ground, but no points to close out the half. Here's Elise Woodward with Husky head coach Steve Sarkeesian. Hartman with the kickoff sends a high boot, and it will be Richardson from his own two. Angling out to the far side, skips over a tackle at the 15. And taken down as he crosses the 20 at the far sideline on the left. And the Huskies will start from their own 22-yard line. Well, I remember last, uh, last week, not a good start in the Idaho game. The Huskies came out to start the third quarter and uh, fumbled the kickoff. Curtis Shaw doing, doing the dishonors. So a better start than the third quarter a week ago. They gave Richardson another yard chuck to the 23. Drive will begin there at the far hash on the left. Huskies will go left to right here in the third quarter. Moving out toward Lake Washington. And Locker with a horseshoe behind him, ready to go. And go shotgun on first down. Set back with him is Polk. Fakes the handoff to Polk. Dumps off a short ball to the near side. Aguilar cannot handle it as the linebacker Gallipo flashed in front of him in a similar looking play against Ohio State last week. Uh, Gallipo picked that one off to set up the Trojans' first score. He, uh, he read this one very well. Probably fortunate to get an incompletion there. Yeah, he's, uh, Gallipo was supposed to take the play fake and stay inside a little bit more and give Aguilar a little bit room, more room on that corner. That's a good throw by Jake Locker to keep it wide of the USC middle linebacker. And the Trojans playing in the absence of their all-everything safety, Taylor Mays, the guy from Seattle, on the sideline in three close. Second and 10 from the 23. Locker under center. Play fake. Rolling right. Looking to throw. Getting chase now. Reversing his field. Going back left. Looking for some room. Got a block. And now back to the 15-20 at the far sideline. Skips out of bounds as he crosses the 25 to the 27-yard line. All of that for a four-yard gain. He ran side to side for about 100. Uh, I think uh, we need to remember that play when, when we've got to kill about 30 seconds on the on the clock too that was a lot of jake locker i talked about the sacks for usc in the first half a lot of it based on just their speed and how hard it is for jake to run away from guys he's used to running away from a little bit of that here he thought he was going to be able to get away from michael morgan on that right side initially morgan uh, stayed with him though forced jake to go all the way to the other side of the football field so third down and six dogs at their 27 yard line on this first possession of the third quarter spread formation five wides locker in the gun and movement early again. Washington getting antsy up front. I'm not sure this one will be on Toller or maybe Hobbin, but uh, the purple shirts moving out early. Ball start, number 61 on the offense. Oh, that's Greg Christine. Five yard penalty, third down. So third and six becomes third and 11. Well, that's the talking the Huskies. Two for five on third down today. They, they're av on average, they've needed 15 yards on their five third down attempts. They've only been able to gain about seven or eight yards per third down. Penalties and sacks have yeah. been a hand in that. Uh, fifth penalty of the day on the dogs. So third and 11 at the Husky 22-yard line. Shotgun set. Two wides to the near side on the right. Two backs with Locker in the backfield out of the gun. SC will rush against the Washington screen. Tried to throw it out for Polk. Closer to the blocking lineman Ben Osai. It goes incomplete. Polk never really looking for the ball and that uh, series was a mess from the get-go and Washington will have to punt the football. Going three and out here. 
not the way you wanted to start the quarter. You were feeling good getting it back to a tie. You get the ball to start the half. Not only do you not get points in your opening drive, you actually lose a yard and uh, the field position you were hoping to establish unlikely to happen. Damian Williams deep for USC. Mahan stands inside the Husky 10. Middle rush gets the kick away and hooks it to the far side, bouncing at midfield and kicks out right there. They'll put it out. I believe at the 50-yard line, that's just a 28-yard punt for Mahan, whose first was 51, and then he goes 38 and 28. And a uh, delightful field position opportunity here for USC to begin the opening quarter. They will start at midfield. Uh, you wonder, too, it's getting wetter and wetter and colder and colder, and you get the uh, Mr. Mahan uh, kind of adjust to the environment uh, that he's playing in now. So their first drive of the third period commences at the 50. Corp under center, they will go right to left. Start with a running play. McKnight running right, cutting back, and taken down on a chase from behind from Elisara. Help from Savannah. Shy of the 45 in Washington Territory. Progress to the 47. That's a gain of three for Joe McKnight. Doing a much better job. The Husky defensive line of linebackers of kind of their gap control flowing with the play, but not uh, everybody committing to the same gap, keeping relationship to each other. Cutback lane's not there. Joe McKnight, the reigning Pac-10 Conference Offensive Player of the Week for his work against Ohio State. Magnificent in that game-winning drive late, late in Columbus. Second and seven, Trojans ready at the Washington 47. Corp under center again, single setback behind him. And a rollout being chased. Teo Nesheim chases him to the far side. Penalty marker thrown in behind the play. Corp scampers out of bounds with a, a first down for the moment. But uh, you got to think this one is coming back to Leah Creighton giving chase the freshman defensive end. Well, you got to. Typically, there's a penalty when there's an offensive lineman laying on a defensive lineman. The defensive lineman's helmet is off. I think Christopher <laughs> O'Dowd uh, with the 2.5, 2. 2.10 2. yard takedown. Number 61 in the offense. Yeah. 10 yard penalty, previous five. That is the uh, returning all-conference back-10 center, Chris O'Dowd, uh, junior out of Tucson, Arizona. Really a solid player in a uh, preseason All-American in most everyone's book. I think consensus lean to uh, USC as maybe having the best offensive line in the country. I, I'm not sure I would go along with that. They're pretty darn good, though. That's their fifth penalty. Cost them a first down and takes them back to a second and 17 from their own 43. Corp will go under center. McKnight in the backfield behind him. Motion from Williams through the formation to the near side left. Play fake. Corp chase play blown dead. <laughs> Another penalty marker down. Yeah. Mr. Fuller is going to have to blow that whistle louder or uh, <laughs> Mason Foster is going to decapitate Eric Corp. Pretty noisy in here. False start on number 86 on the offense. That is the tight end, Anthony McCoy. So back-to-back -back Trojan penalties now. And that glorious field position to start the drive at the 50. <laughs> They're going the wrong way themselves. This will take them back to their own 38-yard line, second and 22 from there. We're early third quarter, tied at 10 here in Seattle, SC with the football. And the last time USC played here two years ago, they committed 16 penalties in the football game. I back Savili, the fullback McKnight, the tailback on second and 22 at the Trojan 38. Far hash on the right. Here's Corp. Off a play fake. A lot of time. And now chased out, throws to the sideline. Havili broke a tackle at the 40, but hit down short of the 45. Quentin Richardson. And E.J. Savannah with a serious tackle on Stanley Havili. And Havili not getting up. Just perfect form tackle. And a forehead in the in the chest, chin. Maybe, was maybe face mask. Indeed, Savannah yeah. 22 as opposed to Richardson 28. And uh, the Trojan training staff goes clear across the field to the boundary line in front of the Husky bench as E.J. Savannah met heads up with Havili and just kind of folded him at the sideline. Yeah, they were both facing each other, both in the crowds. Both ended up kind of putting heads down at the same time. It ended up kind of being a forehead to face, forehead to forehead. And the good news is Havili on hands and knees and now collecting himself and uh, all his Trojan <laughs> fullback uh, getting to his feet uh, and Woosley will come uh, he's walking on his yeah. own not doing too bad junior out of Salt Lake City Stanley Havili third season uh, as a Trojan uh, starter is it Woosley his middle name Woosley yes Stanley no, he's Woosley. from Woosley. Woosley just outside Salt Lake <laughs> how far is that from Denver <laughs> but it's interesting he's got a bunch of buddies on that Husky sideline too that were just as concerned Stanley Havili 
Well, the concern now is third down and 17 USC. Line of scrimmage, the Trojan 43-yard line. Monzel McDowell in at the corner over at the far side in the Husky defensive set. They'll go shotgun, two wides to the near side here, the wide side left. Trojans from there, 43, Corp takes the snap. Flares it out right side. This ball is caught. McKnight in space with a penalty marker down. Broke through McDowell's tackle at midfield and is out of bounds short of a first down. Put him out of the Husky 43-yard line, but markers all over the place in behind the play. Yeah, line judge threw the uh, first flag. Some sort of formation or crackback situation likely on the offensive team. Been a penalty-plagued Trojan drive here. Jack Foleyard, the referee. Sideline interference on the defense. That's a five-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. That's a first, first down. down. Wow. Automatic first down. I think uh, our defensive coordinator, a little gung-ho over there as the uh, play was involved in the replay. Yes, the CA. When you run into the linesman, the, the linesman who's standing on the on the boundary of the field, you got the coach's box, which is six feet back. When the coach runs into the official, that sends the flag up in the air. Wow. How about that one? Wow. That's right. First down for the Trojans. They were third and 22. They worked from the Husky 38-yard line. First down handoff. McKnight met in the backfield. Elisara dropped him. That ball came loose. Fumbled on the play. And who got it? I think SC, the, the official holding up two fingers. The Trojans will retain possession at the line of scrimmage. Big stick from number 99. He's a former high school wrestler, and that's a major takedown from Cameron Elisara. Well, you just feel the confidence growing of this Husky defense, too. A corner crash coming that time, and it's... Monzel McDowell crashing down on the play and kind of gets into the pile and forces the fumble. Charles Brown, the offensive tackle for USC, turtles on the spot to get the recovery. Second and 10 at the Husky 38. Corp under center, moving right to left at the far hash on the right. Hand off McKnight. Got away from Foster, trying to get outside here on the left. 35-30, first down and pushed out finally by... Trufant at the 25-yard line. Make that Nate Williams with the force out. But McKnight bouncing it out to the left for 13 yards. Mason Foster, disgusted with himself, had great penetration but couldn't make the play. Well, he ducked inside to try to make that play and ended up giving up uh, giving up the leverage. Came down the line, had a great shot at Joe McKnight. And, uh, a lot of bad angles right there yeah, from the purple so shirt. Uh, the contain that's supposed to fill in, come up, get outside, replacing Mason Foster, unable to get there in time. Stephon Johnson, the tailback. Trojans, the first down at the 25. Tied at 10. Hand off Johnson. He broke a tackle in the backfield. Scrambles forward to the 20 and near the 15. And another first down. Missed Washington tackles. Costly on the last two plays. Yeah, that one. Cameron Elisar with some penetration in the backfield. Had the chance. Johnson, very nifty for a 210-pounder. Just a little side jump. Elisar got nothing but ankle. And then Stephon Johnson got 10. Sarkeesian saying before the game, we have to tackle well. They get a lot of yards after contact, and we're seeing that here. Trojans tied at 10, but a first down at the Husky 15-yard line. They'll come with a run again. Running left. This is Johnson looking to turn. No, that is Havili back in the game. Havili with the carry and a penalty marker down back at the 20-yard line. Havili thrown out of bounds, and there's a Trojan perhaps injured on the play. That's yeah. McKnight who got tangled up in the pile here on the near sideline. Uh, yeah. A gain of only one to the 14. Penalty on USC, and then McKnight, we talked about how he had that left ankle retaped, came back in, and it's looks uh, like it's not going to uh, allow him to continue, be my guess. He's not in good shape at all. You know, same thing kind of happened to him last week. That's how Taylor Mays was hurt. Uh, his own man, uh, Josh Pinker, the cornerback, ran into him at a play on the sideline, Chuck, and uh, this time well, the ball carrier thrown into him from behind and uh, kind of folded back that leg. Uh, Joe McKnight yeah. trying to block out in front of the play, pushing Richardson out of the way, and then yeah. Avili into him and folding that left yeah. leg back underneath and timeout going to be called here by USC with 10-14 to play. We'll take a break. We're in the third quarter at Husky Stadium. Tied at 10. Trojans threatening when we come back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Now again, the Huskies, it's not a whole lot of substitution going on, certainly in that back end. Don't really play nickel or dime. They're asking guys to do a lot of different and varied things. 
First and 20 from the 25. Trojans ready. Near hash on the left. Under center, Aaron Corp. Short drop. Looks over the middle. Throws. Ball is caught. McCoy to tight end inside the 15 and dragged down at about the 13-yard line. Nate Williams, the safety, with the stop. First catch today for the senior tight end, Anthony McCoy. Well, that just uh, looked like the Idaho last week. Just shotgun formation. Guy hooking up over the middle. Husky defensive backs very deep. Linebackers taking their drops and getting some funny angles. Anthony McCoy that time wide open over the middle for the 10-yard game. Still leaves him. Second down. We'll call it eight. At the Washington 13, here's a running play. Coming left, looking for a crease is Stephon Johnson, and he's knocked down at the 12-yard line. Gain of only one, Daniel Teo Nesheim. The Huskies fine defensive end at the bottom of the pile. Yeah, much better angles once again. Trying to get that cut back, but Teo Nesheim keeping relationship to the rest of his purple-shirted defenders, taking those cutback lanes away. Daniel limping just a little bit after that play. Trying to flex out some pain in his left knee. Where's a rubber sleeve on that knee and might have tweaked it a little bit right there. All right, third down, seven. SC out of the huddle in a shotgun. Line of scrimmage, the Washington 12. From the near hash on the left. Four wide receivers, court to pass. Pressure coming at him, flares it out. Habili falls down, making the catch, and that ball squirted loose. He was well down after the reception. They know. And they are calling it a fumble and a Washington recovery. I will be amazed if this play stands. We shall see if it does. Washington will have the ball at the Husky 16-yard line. Well, the good news is that it is called a fumble and a recovery on the field, so you'll have to reverse it. Havili certainly stumbles. Does he get his hand on the ground or any part of his body? No. On the replay, he got his hand down, wheels were spinning, put the football, down. the hand that had the football in it went down for a second point of balance. That caused the fumble. That is a fumble. Well, that is a review, and as I say, I will be surprised if this play stands. We'll see, Chuck. Uh, you know, when you say the ground can't cause a fumble, but when a player is still alive with the football, you can't put a hand on the ground with the ball, even if it's the second hand. Yeah, a great camera angle on the first replay we saw. Stanley Avili spun his wheels, put one hand down, and stretched completely out, but his knees never hit the ground. Come back, Washington, a first down handoff to Chris Polk. He carries across the left side. Line of scrimmage to 16. Polk out near the 22-yard line for a gain of six. Good blocking up front. Christine Tolar Osai on that side of the Huskies' offensive line. And uh, turnovers always instrumental in the outcome of the game. The Huskies have two takeaways today. Unlike USC to be behind in that takeaway category. Second down and four dogs in their 22-yard line in this 10-10 tie. Here's Locker. Inside handoff. Polk again going to be hit at the 23 for a pickup of one. Third down and modest yardage coming here. Malcolm Smith, Chris Gallipo, two of the linebackers for this Trojan defense. Eight minutes to play. Third quarter in Seattle. Ten apiece. He's trying to take advantage of the SC turnover. That, that whole drive was uh, uneven by the Trojans. Yeah, uneven. Fits and starts. Good word, uh, you know, two steps forward, three steps back. Penalties. Huskies keep it alive with a penalty. Let's see if they can convert here on third and three at their own 28-yard line. They went three and out on their opening possession. Locker comes up and repositions tight end Tavario Middleton. Jake out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, pump fake, now dumps it off, ball caught Johnson. James Johnson, a block in front, 25, and out of bounds near the 30-yard line. <laughs> he did not want to pump fake that football, Bob. He pulled it back because there was an SC guy out on the perimeter getting in the way, but the strength and the big hands of Big Jake pulls that thing backwards. Yeah, you had, you had strong safety. <laughs> strong safety, Will Harris just kind of got in the way, and... Uh, Credit to Devin Aguilar for doing a great job on the corner, giving James Johnson the corner, even though it was pretty obvious where Jake was going with that ball because it took him a long time to get it out there. Line of scrimmage to Washington, 31. Locker shotgun, strength to the far side on the left as they go left to right. And Jake gives the option handoff to Polk, and he has taken down on a pretty open field tackle from Malcolm Smith, who's been busy from his linebacker spot. Checks that to a one-yard gain to the 32-yard line. And that was there to go a long, long way. Senior Kilimendi had pulled out and had a good angle on Malcolm Smith, but uh, turned up field. He was going to go for big yardage. Unfortunately, he needed to get uh, Smith out of the way so that Chris Polk could get the yards. 
Huskies only 35 rushing yards so far today. Second down and nine. Washington with the ball from its own 32-yard line. Six and a half to go in the third. Tied at 10. Snap gets back to Locker on a bounce. Throws over the middle. This ball is caught as big Cavario Middleton seals himself from the defender. Smith again makes the reception short of the first down at the 37-yard line, but that is a gain of five. That's first nice. catch today for Middleton. At least nice to have an athlete uh, back there to handle handle tough circumstances. You guys are now wonder Jake Locker might have hit his hand on somebody's helmet or perhaps on the ground, but he came up shaking that right arm or the right hand, the right throwing hand. That's something to keep an eye on here if that's going to bother him. Right now pointing to the uh, wristband and signaling out the play to himself. Huskies pop out of the huddle. Third down and four from their 37-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. They go left to right. One back set. Locker under center. Fakes the run. Locker deals it off underneath. Middleton caught it and dropped it at the 40-yard line when hit by Malcolm Smith again. Huskies looking for the short ball in the first down. This time Middleton could not hold on but took a pretty good stick in the process. Washington will punt the ball. Yeah, just kind of bootleg action. Uh, Jake kind of steps up uh, on second down and has the Took that hit, was able to deliver it there on third, rolled out to his left, tried to come back a little bit to Devario Milton. The defender arrived just at the same time as the football did. They could use a good punt here from Will Mahan. His last two have not been so good. Nor is this one. Bad kick, hooking it to the far side left out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it? Terrible kick here. Uh, where did he go? Don't know. His who last is, who three. Is, who is this guy? He's getting progressively worse. They're going to spot this at the USC 42-yard line. Total yardage 277 for USC, 151 for Washington. The Huskies uh, have given up 181 rushing yards here today, just 96 through the air for the Trojans. Washington has passed for 116, run for just 35. Trojans begin the series from their own 42-yard line, first down and 10, moving right to left at the far hash on the right-hand side out of a single back set. Here's Corp under center, hands it off. And a cutback lane is there for Bradford. Cracks across midfield to the Washington. Make that Habili again. Beg your pardon. And he's down to the Husky 48-yard line. This is the most work Stanley Habili's had uh, running the football in his career, I would think. Again, the Trojan carries. fullback had uh, two carries for the season coming into today's game. But uh, he has been busy indeed in this offense in so many ways. That's his sixth carry for 59 yards. And he's always a pass-receiving threat. Gives him a first down right there on a gain of 10 to the Washington 48-yard line. 10-10 tied. Trojans in Husky territory. On second down, here's another running play. This time, Stephon Johnson broke out of a tackle from Foster in the backfield and carries out for about three yards to the 45-yard line. Donald Butler finally finishing the job, but uh, again, the Huskies at times getting some penetration, Chuck, and able to wrap up. Well, getting guys in the backfield, that's good because it typically slows down the play, and you, you still want to go after that, but they've had a chance to make some big plays. You, tackles for loss on rushes. Huskies only have a couple, but they've had a chance at two or three more. Second and six, just inside the Husky 45-yard line. Bradford is the tailback now. Corp under center, going to pass. Straight drop, throws down the seam, incomplete, and we may get interference here. We will. Trufant, the cornerback, wrapped around the back of Damian Williams, and everybody in the building, I think, could see that one coming. Uh, run the skinny post there, just headed down the seam. Damian Williams is... Good sized guy and doesn't troop on it. Obviously, in good coverage in terms of being in position and being around, giving up some pretty good size, 20 pounds and a couple inches. On the defense, number six. Coach Sarkeesian trying to make the argument that that football was tipped, but I don't... Uh, it got there with an awful lot of zip on it for it to be tipped at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it might have. Mason Foster might have got a hand on that. Just uh, it's all that trail hand is what catches you as a, uh, as a secondary man. A nice job by Desmond Trufant with his ball side hand to try to make a play on the football, but that trailing hand was spinning Damian Williams around. Well, penalties uh, an issue for both teams here today. This one gives the Trojans a first and ten at the Washington 30 as they look to break out of this 10-10 tie, and now we may get a review on the previous play. I think they're going to review to see if the ball is hit. play is under further review. 
to see whether it was not a perfect spiral when it was arriving at its uh, destination. And so the uh, question is, is, is it just Corp throw it that way, or did Mason Foster's leap at the line of scrimmage get a fingernail on it? Corp has had a, uh, I wouldn't call it stellar day throwing the ball, but uh, 11 out of 17, 96 yards. Hasn't thrown it to the other guys as yet. And uh, the replay is going to be going to be a little tough to see as uh, Foster got up in the air. Yeah, the did he get a touch on that ball? Still had an awful lot of smoke on it. I don't think the ball necessarily changed path. It's got to be conclusive again. John Madden, Al Pacino, George Bush. He does them all. See Funny Man impersonator Frank Caliendo live at the Emerald Queen Casino October 2nd. For tickets, go to emeraldqueen.com. He's a funny guy, that one. He is. <laughs> Brett Favre. You never, thought, you never thought Brett Favre would be a punchline. Just by, just by saying it. But, uh, Guys made a better it, living doing John Madden than John Madden has been doing himself. <laughs> so reviewing that previous play to see if perhaps this ball was touched before the interference call. It's, if so, obviously, it is a free ball, and there is no such call. But uh, as you say, Chuck, you almost have to use your imagination here to <laughs> overturn it. They don't have a real, real close-up look at it. They go back. I want to talk, too, about Stanley Avila. You talk about the six carries here today. He had 13 all of last year. After further review, it could not be determined whether or not the ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Well, you know, I mean, that, that is the letter of the law, and uh, the replay inconclusive, and thereby it will be first down and 10 for USC at the Washington 30-yard line. 4-10 to go in the third, 10-10 tie. It's been a while since either team has been able to score. I was, I was thinking, too, it's been a while since either one of these teams has been tied in the third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Trojan's ready out of an eye set. Uh, Alan Bradford is their tailback Avili in front of him at the 30-yard line play fake Corp dumps it off near side with some room Havili hit down at the 25 and dropped at the 22-yard line Stanley Avili they showed play action out to the right and then threw back to the fullback Justin Glenn that's a good play in the open field Avili did a good job to catch the ball looked like he might have a whole lot of room it's also a great play by Aaron Corp to get rid of that football with Desmond Trufant and Daniel Teodeshaim in his face at least that's a, a quick release well not only that but he's going to be feeling the effects because it was close enough bang bang play him getting rid of that ball that Daniel Taylor Mesheim got to him and threw him to the turf. Uh, that doesn't feel too good. Stephon Johnson now the tailback for the Trojans who have second and two at the Husky 22 yard line. Near hash on the left, eye backs behind Corp who is under center. And he's dropping to pass. Steps up, throws over the middle, ball is intercepted. It is picked off by middle linebacker Donald Butler who is taken down at the 23 yard turnover by this Husky defense in scoring territory. This one intercepted inside the 20, run back out to the 23. Donald Butler just underneath coverage. We talked at our keys to the game. Make your Aaron Corp beat you. He made the mistake right there. He might be beating USC instead. And he was locked into that receiver, Osbury, double covered. And linebacker Donald Butler, the senior, comes up with the pick. The Huskies start from their own 23, first down and 10. We're still tied at 10 each. Here's Locker under center. Hand off Polk, running to the short side. Cuts back 25. Got a big block in front across the 30 and has a first down out past the 33-yard line. On a good hard run from tailback Chris Polk. Defensive end Everson Griffin with the stop. Polk has 11 yards on the run to the short side. Uh, trying to ride the horse a little bit here, too today, Bob. That's the 18th carry for Chris Polk. No other running backs have had carries here today. Steve Sarkeesian in this Husky offense saying we've got a, we got one guy that's better than the rest of our guys. We're going to go with him as long as we possibly can. That's 18 for 53 now for Chris Polk. 
2.49 to go here in the third. The Dogs with a first and 10 at their 34-yard line. Farhash on the left again. The short side is left, and they will run that way again. Here's Polk trying to follow lead blocks from Christine and Homer. And again, after contact, carrying tacklers. He's out to the 40-yard line or there. Very nearly there. They'll put him down at about the 39. That's a gain of six, four or five coming after contact. Well, and again, you get a rushing first down on that prior play. Huskies first time today they've had a first down on a first down rushing play and then get five good five yards right there husky big boys getting some things done inside on this drive washington at its own 39 yard line taken down toward two minutes remaining here in the third quarter huskies in an eye set locker has them ready second and five from the 39 slot receivers to the near side Polk inside of purse on this wide side right. A long count from Jake. Dropping the pass. Pump fake. Steps up. Throwing middle. Aguilar going to the deck. Can't get there at the 40-yard line. Well covered by Kevin Thomas, the cornerback. Tough throw. Would have been a tougher catch and pretty good coverage from the defender. Yeah, he had a pretty good uh, space underneath that umbrella in the back, though. Uh, that ball's a little bit, really, even, maybe even a little bit shorter and a little bit more online. I mean, Aguilar's got a chance to come back on an angle and get that football, but uh, Huskies had to change the play at the line of scrimmage. They had something up Jake whatever they were planning on doing Jake said we ain't gonna do it he stood up and waved it off so they have third and five now Jory Fogerson coming into the backfield in this shotgun set Holt back there as well third and five of the Husky 39 yard line locker to pass has time throws it off short caught by Polk at midfield hit down immediately but the Huskies will move the chains again and what a day for tailback Chris Polk again the one-time USC commit that's his first reception today this one converting on third down and five, they gained 11. Well, that's a, now four for eight on third down. Keep the offense on the field. You get another couple minutes. You keep the mo going. You get your defense some rest. Quarterback feels good. Nothing bad about what just happened if you're a Husky fan. At midfield, dogs with 1.15 to go in the third, tied at 10. Here's Locker out of the shotgun. Farhash on the left, they go left to right. Play fake, Jake to pass. Chased out of the pocket, has some room to the right, now unloads it. Ball is caught, Polk again, and he is bulldogged down at the 46-yard line of USC, a gain of four. Linebacker Luther Brown getting there in a hurry for the Trojans. Uh, that's just a nice football play from Chris Polk right there, too. He's kind of in blocking, quarterback starts to run out, so Chris Polk releases, gets himself in position gives Jake something easy to at least get some positive yardage. Jake in the first half, 7 of 11 for 103 yards here in the second, 4 of 7 for just 28. Four yards there on the second straight completion to Polk. Second and six, dogs at the Trojan 46. 33 seconds to go in the third, tied at 10. Bunch receivers on the left of the formation. Locker throwing right, though. Johnson dropped the football in the open field here on the near sideline at the 37-yard line of USC. The first drop we've seen from the youngster today, Drew McAllister, the safety in coverage, the replacement part for the free safety, Taylor May. And yeah, notably the first time we've really called his name, too. I'm guessing we've said Taylor Mays more than once to this point, but at that time, James Johnson, too much time to think about it. He ran his route. Ball was taking a while to get there. He knew McAllister was on his way. If you can... Uh Put one eye facing one way and one eye facing the other. That's what James Johnson was trying to do. Keep an eye on the football and keep an eye on Drew McAllister. So here's another third down. Third and six at the 46. Locker up and ready to go. Two wides to either side. Takes the snap. Five-man rush. Throws over the middle. Threw it behind a wide open Jordan Polk. Incomplete. Little slant route from Polk. And he had green oh. in front of plenty. Bad throw from Jake that time. And no one will be more yeah. Disappointed than Jake himself. That's a big play right there that didn't happen. And Jake has already uh, shown that he was disappointed himself. As soon as he, that football hit the ground, he pumped his fist into the ground. He had Jordan Polk just screaming down the middle of the football field on that short slant route. Wow. And here is Mahan, who has been shaky at best his last three punts. Well, we need about a 30-yarder here. Going to try to pin USC deep. Standing at the Washington 40-yard line. Takes the snap. Angles it on the spiral to the near side. Bounces at the 15. Picked up and bobbled. Now Williams collects it on the bounce and is taken down immediately at the Trojan 15-yard line with nine seconds to go in the quarter. Let's pause here for station identification. You're listening on the Washington ISP Sports Network. This 
is Seattle's only all-sports station and your home for the Huskies and the 12th man. Sports Radio 950 KJR Seattle. Hubert. Yeah, him too. Brandon Hubert, the reserve linebacker with a nice tackle on Williams on the uh, putt return. They put him down at the 14 of SC. Might be the final play here of period number three. Nine seconds to go. The Trojans start deep in their own end. Now come out with a running play. McKnight running right. Tripped up and dropped at the 17-yard line. A gain of three. Jay Savannah and Mason Foster, the two outside linebackers, combining on the tackle. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. No damage done on the scoreboard by either team in the period. After three in Seattle, we are tied at 10. Washington and number three, USC. Stay with us for the fourth here on the Washington ISP Sports Network. He has taken some throws on the Trojan sideline, and uh, from the looks of things, <laughs> he just kind of airing out that shoulder a little bit. Doesn't very, look very good throwing it. On the field, Aaron Corp is the man of the hour playing quarterback for USC. Joe McKnight, the setback, bunch receivers. Left of the formation on second and seven. They're ready from their 17-yard line. They will throw right. Coming to the near side, this ball is caught, and a helmet goes flying off of <laughs> Justin Glenn, the safety, hitting Osbury out of bounds just short of the first down. Put him out at the 24-yard line. At the SC sideline, going to be third down and one. We got a, either, a, either we got a, uh, a chin strap that doesn't buckle very tight, or the uh, pro of Justin Glenn is putting a lot of pressure. That's that second or third time his helmet's come off here this afternoon. All right. Could be a muscle play right here. Stephon Johnson is the tailback. It is third and one. Trojans at their own 23-yard line in this 10-10 tie. Here's Corp. Will hand it Johnson right side looking to get outside. Turns the corner. Will not get there. Donald Butler. Another big play to knock him out at the line of scrimmage. Fourth down USC. Oh, oh. Uh, Donald right. Butler coming up huge here in the second half. Remember the Huskies had stopped a third and one at the end of the first half. And right here, another third and one situation. Huskies force him wide once again with some penetration inside. Great pursuit from Donald Butler to get to that sideline. So here is the punter, Billy O'Malley. Hey. Out on the field, fourth down and one SC at their 23-yard line. Fogerson is deep for Washington. O'Malley standing inside the Trojan 10. Kick is away, and he hit it pretty well. Fogerson immediately with a fair catch signal and takes it in inside the Husky 40 at the Washington 39-yard line. That's a 39-yard punt, and we will take a timeout here in the fourth quarter. 14-21 remaining. We're tied at 10 each. We're back after this on the Washington Eyes. And Jake Clocker for the day coming in as the leading passer in the Pac-10 Conference. 11 of 21 so far today for 131 yards. See what they do on first down. Locker will be under center. Chris Polk, the setback behind him. First and 10 dogs moving right to left at their own 39-yard line. Locker, a straight drop to throw. Comes to the near sideline. Johnson, the catch, steps out of bounds, short of a first down. Into the Trojan bench he goes at the 48-yard line. Pickup of nine. Third catch today for young James Johnson. That uh, was a great throw. Good footwork, accurately delivered. James Johnson sells the deep route long enough, gets Pinkert turned around, drifts out to the outside. Football thrown exactly where it was supposed to be. Fourth catch for the freshman, Chuck. Second and one dogs at the Husky 48-yard line. High backs behind Locker. Hand off to Polk, and he is hit immediately by the linebacker, Luther Brown, near the first down marker. I think he will have it, but it's close. Again, you get that second and one situation, not taking a shot. You want to maintain possession. Let's give our offense against a good defense a chance to stay on the field. Huskies 193 yards of total offense. That's right on SC's basically average given up per game. Huskies not getting a lot of yards, but they're eating up a lot of clock. They lead the time of possession battle. Johnson wide no to the far over. side, the wide side on the right. Bunch receivers on the short side left. First and ten dogs at midfield. Here's Locker under center. A play fake. Chase throws the screen. Good one. Near side needs a block. 45 to the Trojan. 40 and runs into the tackler there, but will have a Washington first down. Gained 11. Tackle seeking miss right there. That's right. Goodwin ran headlong into the cornerback, Josh Pinkert, but the Huskies moved the chains. They get that first down. That's, uh, they had it set up. The screen came against a blitz call. 
Kind of that wide receiver action. He lined up in the bunch, fakes blocks, drifts back out. A couple blockers out front. Ben Osai with a great block, but uh, Andre Goodwin not quite sure whether to cut left, cut right. Didn't cut either way and just cut himself down, but uh, got the first down. First catch of the day for last season's leading Husky receiver, DeAndre Goodwin. Dogs in Trojan territory, tied at 10. First down at the USC 39. There's Locker under center, near hash on the left. He's going to pass again. Throws it near side. Ball is caught. Middleton puts his head down, bounces off a tackler at the 30, put him down at the USC 28-yard line on the near sideline. Cavario Middleton taken out by the safety. Drew McAllister, but another Washington first down. Second catch for the big tight end from Tacoma. Well, and again, the Huskies spreading the football around. That's some eight different receivers have caught passes from Jake Locker. Back-to-back 11-yard -back yep. gains, Chuck. He's averaged nine different receivers through the first two games. Yeah, I got to work one, uh, work one more in. The Huskies, I uh, don't think they care who catches it right now. They just want to catch it in some yellow paint. There's Locker sending Homer in motion out to the wide side right. Jake under center at the 28. SC might have jumped offside here. No. Locker trying to pass ball deflected into the air, and now it is slapped around and ultimately caught. I think that is tackle Ben Osai who got it and pushes to the 30-yard line. That'll still be a loss of a couple. Michael Morgan, the linebacker, getting the deflection at wide up with big number 79. Well, Michael Morgan deflected it, and then Jake tried to do the right thing. He went up and did a Brett Favre, tried to spike it down. Hit the uh, hobbit in the helmet. <laughs> hobbit in the helmet popped up, <laughs> and Ben Osai. Now there's nine different receivers that have caught passes. That's, I believe, the first career reception for Ben Osai, who will be lobbying for some tight end. Without time. doubt. Now. One catch for minus one yard. Yeah. Second and 11 at the 29. Locker will go empty backfield under center here. Four wide receiver set. Jake from the Trojan 30. Four-man rush. Locker throwing down the near side. Aguilar in the corner. Diving can't get there in time. Well covered by Pinkert on the play, and Josh Pinkert is not shy about telling you what he thinks of you. The senior from Oxnard coming up yapping at Aguilar after the incompletion. Now it is third and 11 Huskies. Locker yeah. taking a shot for all of it. Aguilar trying to lay out, and that ball just a shade overthrown. Uh, I think the ball thrown really well. I think Devin Aguilar got a little caught up in trying to battle with Josh Pinkert, was kind of looking back for a long time for that football and was kind of playing off Pinkert with his right arm instead of running underneath it. Locker's first incompletion on the drive right there. So it is third and 11 at the 30. They'll go shotgun here. Two lines to the near side on the left. Two backs with Jake. The ball rolls back to him. Picks it up. Looking down the far side. Throws for the boundary. This ball is wow. caught. Inside the 20-yard line. Johnson out dueling the quarterback. Thomas for that football. Put him down at the SC 17-yard line. The Dogs convert on third and long. They needed 11. Got 12. Wow, and James Johnson, mature beyond his years and his ability to use his body, shield off that defender. He kept Thomas on his back. Thomas in great coverage, but once Johnson got that position, he kept Thomas on his back, continued back to the football while being ridden from behind by Thomas, reached out, snagged it. What a huge completion on third down. And a first down at the Trojan 17-yard line. There's Locker dropping to pass. Pressured. Throws while being hit. Ball is deflected and incomplete. Gallipo, a near pick as he went up jointly with Chris Polk at the 15-yard line of USC. Yeah, that will take the incompletion yeah, there. Yeah, he should have uh, thrown that away or eaten that one. He had a lot of pressure right at the middle. Jarrell Casey just kind of bearing down on it, but they were trying to get Paul Homer on a wheel route up the sideline when uh, that was well covered that Jake tried to come back underneath and there was a lot of traffic underneath Jake unable to step into the throw because of the pressure in completion. I think the best of the uh, three potential scenarios that could have happened there. Trojans bring in a pass rush specialist in defensive end Nick Perry. Second and ten. Washington at the USC 17-yard line. Here's Locker. Takes the snap. Pressure coming up the middle. Scrambling out. We're going to get a holding call here. Locker throwing incomplete. And it was the aforementioned Nick Perry beating his man to the quarterback. And Locker under duress. Greg Christine trying to get a block. And uh, his guy was was blowing by him, so he reached out and held him. 
big penalty in this neck of the woods. Yeah. On the offense, number 61. 10-yard penalty, previous spot. Second down. Boy, how about the first step from Nick Perry getting off the ball? This is a 6'3", 250-pound red shirt freshman. Yeah, so if, if, see, that's what happens when, when you've got quality depth in your program. You've got a guy like that, and you can afford to red shirt him as opposed to getting him on the field right away in his true freshman year. Just creating havoc in there, forcing Washington into their seventh penalty of the game. You had, had the first down at the 17. Now you're looking back at the 27. Eighth penalty, Chuck. Yeah. And one more in the second and 20 from the 27. Ball at the far hash on the right in this 10-10 tie. Blocker will go shotgun. Inside handoff, and Polk is taken down. Not much there. That play hasn't been real good to him today. SC doing a nice job reading the play, and two of the uh, interior defensive linemen, Tupo and Casey, on the stop for USC. No gain, and now third down is coming third and 21. Well, I remember the Huskies had a third and 11 at the 30, and now they're back at the 28. You've got to be thinking field goal advantage here as well. You've got to get to at least create a more of a higher percentage field goal. Even if you're not going to get a first down, you've got to get some positive yards. You're looking at a 45-yarder right here. You've got to get your kicker inside 40. And a timeout going to be called. Timeout, Washington. With 10.08 to go, we will take a break. <laughs> Don't go away. Third down and 21 when we come back. The Huskies and the Trojans tied at 10. We will come back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Here we go. Curse and Aguilar to the far side on the right. Aguilar a wide slot out there. Third down and 21. Blocker shotgun has Johnson near side. The wide out on the left. And Jake will pass for it. Stepping up. Scrambling, throwing down the near side for Polk, going up, incomplete. Covered by the quick linebacker, Malcolm Smith. Stride for a stride with him in the near corner of the end zone. I think James Johnson was the uh, the first read, and he was covered up on a post route. Blocker scrambling and throws incomplete. And now Nick Polk will try to produce the biggest kick of his Husky career. Had a field goal in the first half of 28 yards. Eric Polk, I should say. Now, Nick, his uh, older brother, Nick, has had a few of these. This will be a 46-yard field goal attempt. It would be his Husky long for the season for the lead. Straight away attempt. Ball is down. Folks kick is away. It has the distance. And it is good! For the moment, he is a full hero <laughs> as the Huskies have their first lead of the day. Comes with 9.53 remaining in the fourth. 13 to 10, Washington in front of USC. We go down to the sideline and Elise Woodward. Well, guys, it's nice for once for the Husky program to have the wind at their backs, and that's exactly what happened there with that full field goal. A good little lift on that ball from 46 yards, and that was good. You see uh, some similarities between the new Husky program and the old SC program. Nick Holt, uh, or excuse me, Pete Carroll on the USC sideline keeping his team active and fun. Kind of a little bunch jump thing. Coach Sarkeesian likes the same thing. Saw it last week. Same thing going on on the other side of the field. It's like an inter-squad scrimmage uh, <laughs> between these two. First uh, score of the second half comes with four 9.53 to go, a 4-minute and 28-second drive, 33 yards in 11 plays, 46-yard Eric Polk field goal, 13-10 dogs. Polk to kick it away. McKnight and Stephon Johnson are deep, and we'll see if he's got a little adrenaline going. He'd love to airmail this one into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the right-to-left runoff. Ball is in the air, carries. It will be McKnight from the goal line. Up the far hash as he goes at the 20. And taken down just shy of the 25-yard line. Put him down at the 24. And a pretty open field tackle from safety Greg Walker. The Trojans trailing for the first time today will begin from their 24-yard line with a little under 10 minutes to play in this game. We well, saw SC a week ago back at Ohio State trailing in the fourth quarter and go on an 86-yard scoring drive to get the win. So they have been behind. They change and the difference, different quarterback, Aaron Corp instead of Matt Barkley. 
From the 24-yard line, Corp under center, going left to right, one back behind him. He's going to throw, has time, steps up, goes over the middle, incomplete, under-throwing an open tight end, Anthony McCoy at the Washington, or at the uh, SC 45-yard line. E.J. Savannah, the closest man to him, but just a bad throw there from Corp. Again, the sophomore out of Villa Park, California. His dad played football at Idaho State. Aaron Corp had thrown a total of eight passes in his Trojan career before today. He is 13 of 21 in this game. One pass intercepted. Second down and 10 SC from the 24. Ball middle of the field. They go left to right out toward Lake Washington, trailing 13 to 10. Come with a running play. McKnight looking to bounce it out right, waiting, waiting, and finally runs out of real estate. Mason Foster and Donald Butler, two of the linebackers, shoulder him out at the 27-yard line, gain of about three. Well, again, just Joe McKnight trying to dip upfield, trying to dip upfield, tried it two, three times, was unable to get up, turned upfield. Huskies staying in their gaps, staying in their lanes, pursuing shoulder to shoulder. Doing a spectacular job on first down. SC has not converted a third down play today. They are third and seven here at their 27-yard line. Three wides to the wide side left. Here's Corp out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. Steps up. Throws ball. Knocked down. Nearly intercepted. Mason Foster dropping back into his zone with a pretty play. There was so much talk last week, Chuck, about the Huskies' four zone drops in the Idaho game. They've done a much better job here today. And USC goes three and out, having fallen behind 13 to 10. Gotta love it. Yeah, and almost through the interception right there for the fourth turnover of the game. That's seven possessions now with SC not putting any points on the board. And uh, you force Billy o when you force Aaron O'Malley or Aaron Corp and Billy O'Malley to be big parts of this football game, you're getting an advantage. Here's O'Malley taking the snap. Punt is on the way, end over end boot. Fogerson going to let it bounce at the 45, skips out of bounds inside the 40-yard line and out at the Washington 37-yard line. Again, O'Malley with the end over end boot, but got a pretty good roll there. 36-yard punt. We got a timeout called 8.43 remaining at Husky Stadium. Washington right now sitting on an upset. It's 13-10 Huskies. We're back after this. 101 of those on the ground. I think you'll see a lot of play action, just kind of roll out, simple throws. Got the Dorson voice at tight end in the backfield showing some movement as Locker is under center and ready with a running play. Right side and Polk is just thrilled at the line of scrimmage. You can hear the pop from up here as he is taken and thrown back. No gain on the play. This time it is Michael Morgan, the strong side linebacker with the stick. And these guys will hit you. Yeah, they like to uh, arrive with a little ferocity when they get there. They're so big and so fast that uh, I'm not sure they can help it, Bob. I think you get all that mass moving that fast. Again, uh, like we talked, to try to run up the middle on first down. You're going to have to force these guys to, to cover the whole field. You run, get Jake on the perimeter a little bit, get him some easy looks downfield, get people out of his vision. Second and 10 at the 37. The inside run, no gain. I backs behind Locker at the far hash on the right. Jake. Maybe change in the play, and uh, the Huskies waited too long, and Christine and Osai here on the left side of the offensive line pull up early. That'll be a five-yard penalty on the dogs. Yeah, you can only hold him there so long. As you said, Jake called off once again, stood up, and was waving off whatever the original call was. Delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. So that's on uh, that's on the quarterback. has got to pay attention to that and uh, get done what you need to get done before that clock gets to zero. So back him up five, going to be second and 15 as we're inside eight minutes to go, 7 to 53 to be precise here in the fourth quarter. 13-10, Washington leads USC, and now they'll spread the field. Five wide receivers, Locker alone in the shotgun. The wide side to our left here on the near side of the field. Second and 15, Jake takes the snap, throws quick, ball caught Johnson, and James scurries out of bounds near the 40-yard line, and that'll be a gain of about eight yards before they push him out in front of the Washington bench across the way from us. Gallipo, the linebacker, Thomas, the corner. That is six catches today for this exciting young freshman, James Johnson from San Diego. Well, and you see how good USC is tackling a, at the point of attack, too, Bob. James Johnson almost getting around that corner, but Kevin Thomas with a good, strong tackle, limiting him to uh, only the eight yards on the catch. 
So third and seven at the 40. Locker will be under center at the far hash. Straight drop from Jake. Throwing to the boundary line. This ball knocked right back at him. Goes incomplete. Rejected at the line of scrimmage by 6'5". Defensive end Malik Jackson. Washington will punt the football. Yeah, just got in the line of in the line of fire. I got that third and seven. Just trying to run some guys eight yards and hook them up. Jake thought he had something to go in there. But uh, Malik Johnson again, six foot five, Getting in the way. Damian Williams drops back. Standing at the Trojan 20, Will Mahan, the junior college transfer from Bakersfield. Pressure punt right here, standing at the Washington 25. Has a bit of a wind to his back. Snap back is a good one. Spiraling kick away. Williams will field at the 15-yard line, beats the first man down, looking for room and finding it. 25-30, uh-oh, 35, gets by a tackler at the 40, still on his feet, scrambling for yardage, taken down ultimately at the USC 43-yard line, maybe the 44. Greg Walker, the safety, finally got him. But the Huskies look to maybe have SC pinned deep. Instead, a 45-yard punt and 28-yard return. From Damian Williams, their leading wide receiver and leading punt returner as well. well. You got the punt you wanted, too. A 45-yard punt out by the boundary, out to the numbers, comes down on the 15-yard line. Damian Williams just made a play, made some guys miss on that Husky coverage team. And now the defense will try to make a play as well. Anthony McCoy, the tight end, the wide receiver out to the left. Trojans first and 10 at their 44-yard line, moving left to right in an eye set. Fourth under center. Little toss coming to the near side, looking to get the corner. McKnight to midfield to the 40, to the Husky 30, still on his feet. Fumble the football. Loose ball, and it's recovered by USC at the Washington 22-yard line. Wow. David Osbury, the wide receiver, trailing the play as McKnight just lost the ball in the open field, and the Trojans catch a huge break with the fumble recovery. Well, he ended up with a 34-yard gain on the play. McKnight down the field. Quinton Richardson from behind punches the football out. Smart play, but you got SC guys chasing after the play as well as Husky guys, and it's Osbury that got there first. Long play. Puts the Trojans in field goal range at least at the Washington 22-yard line. Near hash on the right. Corp ready to go. Hands it off. Big hole for Johnson. Stephon Johnson inside the 15 as a first down at the Washington 11-yard line. Safety Nate Williams with the tackle. Well, that McKnight gain, first 10-yard or more play in the quarter for USC. Huskies have taken that big running play out of the SC offense. Now you get two consecutive double-digit gains in the running game right away. Husky defense has got to stay aggressive. Williams and Osbury go wide to the left. Trojans with a first down at the Washington 11-yard line. Bet they run the ball here. Johnson the tailback, and they will. Through the middle, cutting back, little stutter step, and cannot elude the tackle of Donald Butler at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Donald Butler's had a solid game today. Yeah, stayed, uh, stayed at a good angles right there. Did not give up the cutback. Stayed alive. Kept him on his, kept Stephon Johnson, Donald Butler, on his inside shoulder. Got him to the ground. Second down and 10, USC trailing 13 to 10, but threatening big time here at the Washington 11-yard line. Butler, a wide slot out to the left. Williams to the near side on second and 10 from the 11-yard line. Here's Corp ready to go. Dropping back to pass, looking right now, running with the football and taken down on a nice open field tackle from Richardson at the seven-yard line, gain of four on the play. Yeah, good recovery by Quentin Richardson right there. Aaron Corp known as a very good runner, 4-5 speed type of guy. Huskies have kept him in the pocket or in check when he tried to get out so far today. Quentin Richardson kept him out of the end zone there with a good tackle. How big is this play? Third down and six. Yeah, at the seven, too. Can get a first down without scoring. SC 0 of 9 on third down in this game. Third and six here from the seven. Corp set to go under center. They're going to go with a running play. Here's Johnson cutting back, and he is hit near the line of scrimmage and dropped. Great surge again. It is Donald Butler with the play. Help from Foster, his fellow linebacker. The Trojans will put the field goal unit on, looking to tie the ball game at 13. Jordan Congdon from San Diego, a transfer from Nebraska, is their first-year place kicker. 25-yard attempt, angle right for the tie. 
With a little over four minutes remaining in the fourth. Here we go. Ball is down. Kick away. And the kick is good. We're tied at 13. The Trojans have their first points of the second half. 4.07 to go. They settle for three. Tied at 13. We're back after this on the Washington ISP Sports Network. Jacob Hartman ready to kick it off for USC. Holt and Richardson deep for Washington. There's the left to right run up. Ball is on the way. A low drive. And it bounces at the 10. Angling picked up by Richardson at the 15 to the 20. 25, 30. Bumped out of bounds hard. No penalty marker thrown over there. He's popped into the Husky sideline. At about the 32-yard line. He was would have, uh, that ball at least, I think, would have gone out of bounds. But Quentin Richardson did a nice job not only to pick it up, but to uh, take it back as well. Oh, well, there's no question. Uh, everybody over here on the sideline yelling, let it go, let it go. But he picks it up, and you're thinking, you better get to the 35-yard line to make this worth it. He gets close to the 32. Spotted actually nearer the 33. So the Huskies tied at 13, 401 to go. Start the drive from there. Looking to shock the nation here today against third-ranked USC. Here's Locker on first down. Play action. Chase gonna be sacked inside the 20-yard line. Getting to him again. That man, Nick Perry, their pass rush specialist, takes Locker down for a big, big loss. Back to the 21, a loss of a dozen. Fourth sack today for USC. Yeah, a couple sacks for Nick Perry on the year coming in. A couple more today and lots of presence and pressure in that Husky backfield. And right away, Huskies go 12 yards in the wrong direction. When you start looking, thinking field position at a minimum right now. Second and 22, Dogs. Line of scrimmage, the Husky 21. Locker from the shotgun. Two winds to the near side on the left. Low snap. Stands up, flares it out to Polk. Makes one guy miss and a second and not a third. They'll take him down at the 27-yard line. Gain of five on the play, maybe six. Drew McAllister, the free safety. And again, this is the guy starting today in place of the injured Taylor Mays. They're super-duper All-American who suffered a knee injury in the Ohio State game and uh, unable to play coming back to his hometown and a timeout going to be called here as well. I'm not sure by who. I would think the way it looks by the USC as we'll see. The officials don't seem to know. They're still chatting about it too. So 2.51 remaining. And there may be a, a clock issue here. Might need to put a few seconds Timeout. back. USC number one. Okay. Would the clock operator please reset the game clock to three minutes and three seconds? And uh, as we take momentary pause with 3.03 remaining, we'll take a look at our Les Schwab ground sets here in the fourth quarter. And it has uh, been a productive ground day for the USC Trojans, who over the years have been <laughs> one of the better running teams in all of college football. 250 rushing yards here today. That's a mere 210 more than Washington. Not only do the Trojans run it well, they stop it too. Huge edge in the rushing game for USC. Your ground stats brought to you by Les Schwab before you head out on the road this fall, make sure you drive into your local Les Schwab Tire Center to enjoy our fall sale and the peace of mind that comes with our free six-point service check. We'll check your tires, air, brakes, battery, and more Les Schwab Tire Centers. All right, the dogs are ready. Third down and 15 at the Husky 28-yard line, moving right to left. Locker under center. Trojan showing blitz, and now they back away. They'll rush four. Jake stepping up, throwing over the middle. Curse with a catch outside the 45-yard line. Uh, great round. We talked in the LSU game about the Huskies are playing as fast as they are. If you've got a 4-5 guy, a 4-6 guy, he's got to play at 4-5, 4-6. Jermaine Kirsch runs a 4-5 route right here, takes it right at the safety in coverage, breaks it off to the inside. Perfect throw in perfect rhythm. 21 yards on third and 15 at their own 28. On first down running play, Chris Polk 
into Trojan territory. Cracks down inside the 45 to the SC 44-yard line. Gain of seven. Defensive end Nick Perry on the stop for USC. Clock running inside. Two and a half remaining in the fourth. We are tied at 13. Huskies in Trojan territory. Yeah, 23 carries now on the day for Chris Polk. Yeoman duty. 66 yards on those 23 carries. Only Husky running back to get a carry here this afternoon. High backs behind Locker as Jake breaks him out at the fire hash on the right. Second and three at the SC 44-yard line. Trojans putting nine in the box. Husky's going to run into it. Polk with a little cutback dragged down by Gallipo. Might have gained one. SC just defying Washington to run on that play. And Husky's running into the teeth of that defense. And it will be third down and short now for the home team at the USC 43-yard line. Clock ticket too, Bob. We're getting down. We're at minute 40 now. And uh, SC with a couple timeouts left. Huskies with a couple of timeouts left. But these short yardage situations, Pete Carroll can't use his timeouts. Converted third and 15 a moment ago. Third and two here at the SC 43. Offset backs behind Locker. Homer, the fullback, Colt, the tailback. Here's Jake. Play fake. Going to throw for it. Tucks it in and now is running. Dives across the 40. First down to the SC 38-yard line. How about the burst on the end of the run from Jake Locker? Well, like we said, you get down to these last few minutes and you want Jake Locker with the football, putting pressure on USC. Got him out on that perimeter, gave him a choice. It also makes USC choose. Do I drop in coverage? Do I close on Jake Locker with only a yard or two to go? Jake's going to pick that up. Does so, and Huskies stay alive. 102 to go, Chuck. First and 10 at the 39. One of the slot receivers, Aguilar, motioning to the right. Penalty marker thrown. The umpire making the call. This would suggest movement up front by the offensive team. Start number 71 of the offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. Second one today on tackle. Cody Hobbin. Uh, Chris stops Lips. the clock with 55 seconds remaining. Yeah, I think that's one of the issues too, Bob. The clock stopped there. It does not restart until the uh, but, um, on the restart or re. re Putting the ball in play. I think he could run another 20 seconds off if they were thinking overtime. There's Locker from the 44. Throw near side. Johnson wide open. Bobbles hangs on. Spun down at the 35 yard line. Washington will call timeout quickly after a nine yard game. Did a good well, job to stay with it, but uh, might have gotten more had he caught it firsthand. And I love the fact that the Huskies are not thinking overtime. They've got this field position. They got a hot quarterback. They got guys making plays. Huskies use the timeout. Right now, you're looking at a 52-yard field goal. 53-yard field goal. Wind at your back. This is the same direction from which Eric Folk made the 46-yarder earlier in the fourth quarter with about nine minutes to go. There's not about ten minutes to go. So 41 seconds left. Following the timeout, going to be second down and six Huskies. The line of scrimmage will be the USC 30 yard line. That is the seventh reception today for freshman wide receiver James Johnson. 72 yards on those seven catches. Locker's day so far Chuck now 20 of 34 for 218 yards. Uh, and no turnovers for this Washington football team. They created three defensively. Haven't turned it over. We talk about the yardage discrepancy. You talk about those kinds of things. But Huskies doing a great job. Time of possession. They're hanging on to the football doing the little things right here today to put themselves in a great position to come out with a win. They will break out of the huddle, and here we go. Second down and six, 41 seconds to go. Line of scrimmage, the Trojan 35. Aguilar to the near side. Curse and Johnson wide side right. Locker to pass. Little pump scrambling out to his right. Getting chased. Now it throws down the field. Caught! Curse out of bounds at the Trojan 15. We might have a roughing penalty, Bob, too. Yep. Roughing the passer. Roughing the passer, number 99, on the defense. That penalty is marked from the end of the play. Second catch today for Curse, and they've both been huge. 19 yards on this one, at least. The Huskies with a first and 10 at the Trojan 16-yard line, 33 seconds left. And a good job by Curse getting two feet down, and now Steve Sarkeesian and Marcus Tuiasasopo telling Jake Locker and these guys, all right, calm down, calm down. Uh, Jake Locker pumping his fist and fired up as he should be, but they still have work to do. Still have the one timeout left, Bob, 
that they have kept. You know, perfect strategy by the book. You want to keep the one timeout to make sure and get your field goal team on the field. Ball is on the right hash. You can expect maybe a throw or two into the end zone and then maybe a run over to the left side, get that ball center. Penalty takes it to the seven yard line of USC at his first end goal. Huskies looking to beat the Trojans, locker under center and ready. Give a handoff to Polk. Left side, cracked down at the four-yard line. What a stick that was from Luther Brown, the linebacker. Gain of three the hard way from Chris Polk. And the Huskies now, they know they're going to use their timeout while they're huddling. That was not a timeout signal, so Jake Locker's going to huddle them up. 16, yeah. 15. What are we doing here? They're going to wait. They're going to take it to two and call timeout. Take wow. it to seven and call timeout. I'm a little surprised that the Trojans didn't use their timeouts to try to force Washington to uh, at least run a play or give themselves some time to get the football back. Steve Sarkeesian rolling the dice, going to put the new kicker, Eric Polk, the sophomore from Woodland Hills, California, onto the field for a 22-yard potentially game-winning field goal over the number three team in America some big Chuck Nelson field goals against USC in this stadium once upon a time. How big would this one be? Polk has hit earlier from 28 and 46. This will be a slight angle right for the right-footed kicker. 22, 23 yards depending on what the official spot is. Ronnie Fouts will hold. Danny Morovic, son of a USC Trojan, will snap it. Here we go. Ball is down. Kick is away. that field goal, folks. The Huskies lead at 16-13. There are three seconds remaining. Huskies take over at their own 32-yard line, 33-yard line, with four minutes and one second to go. Run the ball down to the four-yard line. Convert some key third downs in that drive. You got to you started that drive with a 12-yard quarterback sack going backwards. You get 21 yards on a third and a half from your own 28. Another Jermaine Kirst catch down the 15. Roughing penalty to seven. Big plays made all over the place. And then way to go, Eric Polk. All right. He will kick it off. There are three seconds remaining. Huskies looking to pull off the shocker. Knight Johnson deep for USC. How's he going to kick it? Better be on the ground. Yep. Kicks it low. Bounces it to 25. Fielded by Stephon Johnson to the 30. Time has expired. Johnson on the run. Circling, reversing his field at the 30. Going out to the far side on the left. They've got him hitting in. He throws the football. Looks like it was forward. It is. The ball game is over. And Washington has gotten it done. Are you kidding me? The Huskies take down. are in the middle of the field. The fans piling onto the field. There is a mass of purple in the middle of Husky Stadium. You fill in the blanks. Washington's biggest win since. Wow. 